in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Beyond anointing, beyond skills, beyond revelation, we thank you for your presence. I've said it again, men can fake power, but you cannot fake the presence of God. Make sure you are praying. Let there be a song of praise in your heart. Sing praises, declare, Lord, thank you. I want you to take a quick look at January, February 2013, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. For preservation, we say thank you. For wisdom, we say thank you. For protection, for security, for prosperity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to thank him for this year because I'm telling you, he says, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. The glory of the latter house. And when I'm talking about that house, I'm not talking about this building. I'm talking about you, the glory, the glory of my life. For the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. I know the power of the Lord is risen upon me. Greater glory. I see the glory of the Lord. I'd like you to see a new dimension in your life. I'd like you to see a new level of God. I see the glory of the Lord. I see the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. So I rise and shine. I rise My light shine. has come. My light has come. And the glory of the Lord. And the glory of the Lord is risen and you will see wonders this year i believe it hallelujah 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 just one scripture before we sit down amos chapter 3 amos chapter 3 Amos chapter 3 verse 3 Bible says it shall come to pass in that day not this scripture now I'm just quoting something else 
said, the mountain of the Lord shall be exalted above all other mountains. And as a result, all nations will flow. Hallelujah. Amos 3 verse 3. Can we read one to read? Answer the question. This is a question the Lord is asking you this year. Can two walk together? In other words, are you ready to move at my pace? We can't walk together if you do not agree with me. There are many things that the Spirit of God wants to communicate. But he said, can two walk together? I want to walk with you. There are great things. Jesus speaking said, I have many things to tell you, but ye cannot bear them now. He said, how be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come. He said, he will guide you in all truth. He will take up the things that are mine and he will show unto you. And so God, the first question God is asking us in 2014 is that can we walk together this year? Because you argued with God last year. The Bible says they limited God in the wilderness by saying, can God prepare a table in the wilderness? Hallelujah. In Hebrews chapter 4, the Bible began to speak to us about the Sabbath, the rest of God. He said they perished in the wilderness. They perished in the wilderness. Because when the word of the Lord came, they doubted, can God make a table? Where will he get the materials to make the table? And the Bible says they limited God. And God in his anger swore that they shall not enter my rest. And the Bible says there remained this same rest for the people of God. Although they are the people of God, there remained this rest. He said, let it be that today if you hear his voice, harden not your heart as in the provocation in the wilderness. They limited God. There remained a rest. There is a Sabbath. There is a seventh day that the Lord wants to initiate his people. He wants to bring them out of somewhere. I want you to believe what I'm saying. And the scripture the Lord says I should ask us is, can two walk together? Not you and your friend. Can you walk together with the Holy Spirit this year? To say, I may not understand how you will do this. But I know you will do it. Can two walk together? Will you finally agree with the Holy Ghost that he can take you from where you are? Will you finally agree with the Holy Spirit and say, Lord, this year, I'm not an unbeliever. I refuse to debate and argue whether I understand. Listen, this is the year you will keep aside the, the, the limitation that comes from logic and intellectualism. Hallelujah. To say, Lord, show me how one plus one will become ten. It's irrelevant. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am. one question the Lord is asking. Is there God this year, help me sound better. I want you to believe. Believe that God is able. Hallelujah. If you can answer this question tonight, then God is set to get the ball rolling. See, especially for those of you outside, I hope you are following. Don't let anything limit you. Many of us last year were just spectators. Just debating can God really do this? Can God really do that? There are some of us who are coming here for the first time. You've heard about the things. Let me tell you, 
your unbelief the bible says shall their unbelief make the faith of god of none effect that means your unbelief will not stop god from being god but it will stop you from entering that new level so can two walk together can two walk together i like you to pray one prayer and say lord i'm ready to walk with you i believe you inside and outside no matter how far you are make sure you are praying don't be distracted Lord, this is the year that I'm a believer. Logic will not stand my way. The challenges and failures of last year will not stand my way. I don't want to be a fool. I believe you. I choose to walk with you. I choose to walk with you. Hallelujah. 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 Let me tell you something. I must let you know that our yearly prophetic words are not just a mimicking of what churches do. Hallelujah. I've made it a culture for years. While many people are celebrating their Christmas, laughing and enjoying, I'm traveling with the Lord, finding out what the word of God is. I, I need you to know that we respect God and we honor God. When you see us bring words like this, trust me, God spoke to us. Hallelujah. The Bible says that which I tell you in the secret place, declare thou on the mountain top so it's not just some way okay december 31st what do we do no no hallelujah you don't need to be in 2014 to manifest as light or to have dominion it has nothing to do with 2014 hallelujah when you believe the reality of god you walk as light and dominion but it's always been our culture as a ministry see let me tell you the secret of the hand of God upon our lives is we always find out what God is doing globally. And we plunge into the global frequency of the spirit. Not just what God is doing across territories. It's always our culture to find out what are you doing. The Bible says there were certain men called the sons of Issachar. They took time to understand the times. He said he made light to signify times and seasons. Hallelujah. And so it's our, it's our job to be able to, there are many people who preach that at the end of the year into the new year is irrelevant. You go and read the Bible why he made stars to signify times and seasons. As far as the earth realm is concerned, it functions with times and seasons. Eternity does not work with time. But the earth realm is bounded by time. That's why the prophets will speak and say, according to the time of life. The Bible will say, in the seventh year of the fifth month, of this and that, God did this. God is a God of prophetic timing. Hallelujah. And so I need you to understand that in this season, there are certain things that God is doing across the earth. There are certain things God is doing in the continent of Africa. There are certain things he's doing in the nation of Nigeria. And there is a role we have to play. It is this role that is encapsulated in our theme for the year. This is why many ministries have different things that God told them. Hallelujah. And so the first revelation about a prophetic word is that it shows you God's expectation for you for the year. It's not just about receiving it's an indication of responsibility. That there is a role that you have to play. Oh, I sense the presence of God so strong. Mighty, mighty, mighty. There is a role you have to play. Are you following me now? And there are blessings that are attached when you diligently follow that role. We are not confused at all. I was telling the leaders during our meeting. And I told them that this is not the kind of ministry that is always doing new things every year. All we are concerned about, I pray the prayer and say, Lord, I don't want fame. All I want is impact. Impact upon the body.
body of Christ. Many arm robbers in Nigeria were famous for causing catastrophe. Hallelujah. What we want to see is impact. Hallelujah. A year of light and dominion. This is what the mouth of the Lord has declared. And he will bring it to pass. Ours is to believe and to be guided accordingly. And so my job today is to open up the theme and prepare our hearts. And watch the things that the Holy Spirit will do. But the question, God asked me this question. And he said I should ask the house. Can two walk together? There are no two people that can walk together when they disagree. Somebody must succumb to another person's will. Is that true? So, this is not the year you will expect God to dance to your tune. This is the year you will die and let him have his way. And then you will see the wonder-working power of this God that we serve. Hallelujah. It's good to see everyone. Please hug everyone around you. Happy New Year. Inside and outside, make sure you greet somebody with a great smile and sit down. Let's just get to the word very quickly. Hallelujah. Never forget is a year of light and dominion. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for what God, what God is doing in our midst. We give him all the praise. For his presence. Moses said, if your presence goeth not with us, do not take us from here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's a year of light and dominion. That's what the Lord spoke to us. And I'll be sharing on light. I'll be opening us up to the revelation. What, what is the meaning of this word? Hallelujah. Oftentimes, God communicates his intentions in coded languages and messages. Hallelujah. He would put it and grant grace that that revelation be opened up. When there is an opening of God's word, we can believe and we can walk in that reality. Hallelujah. So what is the meaning of it being the year of light? What does that mean? Just keep the issue of dominion first. What does it mean? What's the light about? Hallelujah. A year of light. There are two dimensions to this prophetic word as being light. A year of light. The first is that God wants us to have light. And the second dimension that is that he wants us to become lights. So he wants us to have Hallelujah. And then he wants us to become. The first dimension is the inner workings of light in and through us. And then the second dimension is what we will become to the world. And, and I'm going to just share very quickly. Hallelujah. So God wants us to have light. You cannot become what you are not. I mean, you cannot reflect what you are not. Is that true? And so he wants us to become to as many as believe in him he gave them power to become he gives you power to become hallelujah thank you jesus psalm 119 verse 130 psalm 119 verse 130 please make sure you're writing 
what does it mean to have light what is light what is God really saying when he says it's a season it's a year of light what is his expectation what is in the mind of God because the Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit can search the mind of God and make known unto us the accurate intentions and counsel of God Psalm 119 the entrance of thy words giveth light and it giveth understanding to the simple. He said the entrance. Can we have other versions? Is that possible? Okay. Uh, let's try New Living Translation. NLT. Put it beautifully. The teaching of your word gives light. Hallelujah. The teaching of your word gives light so even the simple even those who are void of understanding hallelujah the entrance of thy word question if you pick up your bible and read it didn't say the seeing it didn't say the speaking it said the entrance so how can what you are reading enter you this is a mystery he said, if it does not enter you, it cannot give you light. It can be stored as scripture, but it only becomes light if it enters you. The entrance of thy word giveth light and even understanding to the simple. So what is the revelation behind light? Write it. The first revelation behind light is that light symbolizes supernatural insight into scriptures supernatural insight when God says it's a year of light that means he's granting us unusual access into scripture insight uncommon insight opening us up to understand the hidden mysteries the hidden mysteries that are encoded in scripture now you may ask, why do we need these mysteries? You see, because the Bible says God made many lights. Is that true? But he made one light to rule. So there is a relationship between light and dominion. He said he made two great lights. And that light, although there were many lights, the coming of that light enforced its dominion. It ruled in the day and ruled in the night. So the greater your light, the greater you are able to walk in this authority and dominion. But since that light comes through the word of God, we need insight. Are you following me now? Let's see 2 Corinthians 4 verse 6 quickly. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 6. Second Corinthians 4 verse 6. If you can give us in NLT or the message, anyone that is available. Hallelujah. Please read it. The message. Very interesting. It started when God said, Light up the darkness. And our lives filled up with light as we saw and understood God in the face of Jesus Christ. All bright and beautiful. He said, as we saw and understood. Hallelujah. King James says, God who had commanded light to shine out of darkness hath shined in our heart. To bring to us the knowledge of the glory of God as seen on the face of Jesus Christ. So light connotes insight. Depth of insight. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you the truth. We really, really need the light of God. Accurate insight into the word of God. Because Jesus Christ was cautioning the people and he said, be careful lest your light be not darkness that means be careful so that what you are calling light may not really be darkness hallelujah luke 11 i believe luke 11 35 let's look at it luke 11 35 just give us an um amplified amplified okay or you can just leave it it says take heed therefore let's start from 34 34 
the light of the body is the eye is that true it says therefore when thy eye be single thy whole body is full of light but when your eye is evil your body is full of darkness 35 it says be careful therefore that the light that's in you is not darkness there are many people carrying revelations they think is light but it's darkness are you getting me so god is saying as you begin to explore the things you are calling light content for accurate insight so that you will not be carrying a revelation that is darkness whereas you convince yourself that i have rema there, there are all kinds of revelations in the body of christ and the lord is saying be careful so that what you keep celebrating because of the flamboyancy be careful let you not be the beguiled by darkness i'm telling you the truth there are many people carrying darkness around because it sounds good and sounds spiritual hallelujah because when it is light it should set people free it should deliver people it says the words that i speak unto you they are spirit so this is the year to guard your heart with all diligence and make sure that that which you uphold and absorb in your spirit is light indeed for the bible says it is possible that a man can carry darkness and believe he's holding on to light many people have been holding on to dark theologies dark mindsets dark philosophies for decades many of our family members have held on to teachings that were taught by prophets apostles teachers evangelists they will not let it go and the bible says be careful so that what you are carrying if it's a terrible thing when you are holding darkness and you want that darkness to bring light hallelujah supernatural insight so that god brings us into light indeed hallelujah it's a very painful thing if after many years you find out that what you've held on to and argued all your life was a lie is that true there are many people who have held on to a lot of things the baptism in the holy spirit for instance there are so many people who have held on to all of these theologies there's nothing like that deliverance for instance there are many people who have held on to it oh i'm born again everything is all right but there is darkness in this family and they will not confront it no there's nothing wrong i'm fine until they become acute victims and the bible says be careful so this is the year when you will edit the things that you have kept in your spirit and throw out anything that is not consistent with the word of god no matter how long it will require humility because some of us have argued over darkness for a long time hallelujah number two light connotes understanding and comprehension it's not enough to know it's not enough to know you must understand job 32 verse 8 ellie who began to speak and he said but there is a spirit in man he said and the inspiration of the almighty it didn't say gives men knowledge make it men of understanding there is a difference between knowledge knowledge tells you what is available it creates awareness understanding guides you on how to apply it accurately i've always used the example knowledge is that when you want to make jollof rice for instance you need rice you need pepper you that's knowledge understanding tells you when to combine what ingredient where because that you have rice and you have this does not mean you can cook many people have knowledge that puffs up the bible says ever learning but never coming to the comprehension so we have so many spiritual laws around us but we do not understand what principles are responsible for what so we just use any kingdom principle when occasion serves us when you are afraid the nearest thing is the blood of jesus or holy ghost fire or, or the anointing of the holy spirit or prayer or agreement all of these things are spiritual keys and you understanding is the ability to gain mastery over the operation the operations of the kingdom it's not enough to know it's not enough to know 
There is a spirit in man and the breath of the Almighty can make what you know become understanding. He explains to you. He opens it up so that you are not confused. What makes a doctor a consultant? Listen, listen. Almost there are many things that a fresh doctor knows or a consultant knows that the fresh doctor knows but he doesn't have understanding. Praise the Lord. When, when a consultant is carrying out surgery, he doesn't bring a special knife. Is that true? It's the same knife, the same everything. But there is understanding. And this is what many of us need to have. Understanding. Understanding. So that when you see something happening in your family, you are not confused. You don't panic. You know the exact spiritual law to bring into place. This is what spiritual maturity is all about. Hallelujah. I've said it again and again. The opposite of fear, in my opinion, is not faith. The opposite of fear is understanding. You always fear what you don't understand. There's nobody doubting that the chair you are sitting on now can hold your weight. Is that true? Anything you truly understand, you don't become afraid of it again. A pilot can man an airplane, a big airplane, because he has understanding. And he's not afraid that a tiny man can drive hundreds of people, thousands of feet above sea level, because of understanding. Hallelujah. Somebody else can sit on that plane and say, I believe we will not die. That you were not afraid and you died courageously does not mean, are you getting my point now? It's not about dying courageously. It's about not dying. Because at that point, you are flying people. The plane is nose diving and you are saying, I know, <laughs> we will arrive. Nobody should be still in this plane. You are falling. Get understanding. Hallelujah. Get understanding. Number three. Light brings direction. And every time there is direction, there is an end to confusion. Direction. Psalm 119 verse 105. Are you getting blessed tonight? So that we don't just say light, 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 light. Direction. The reason why many people run to prophets and apostles and people around is direction. People want direction in every area of their life. Direction. People go to herbalists because they want direction. What is wrong in our family and what is the way out? Direction. So when God says it's a year of light, it means that there is an unusual grace to bring accurate direction to your life. Hallelujah. It says, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. A lamp to my feet, a light to my path. That means an end comes to confusion. Because he will begin to let me see. The Bible says, you shall hear a voice from behind saying, this is the way. Not these are the ways, choose. This is the way. Walk ye in it. And he said, you will find rest for your soul. Many of us are trusting God. What job to do? Many of us are trusting God. Where to settle down? All kinds of things. Many of us are trusting. Our family members are confused. What business to do? What can I do? Everybody is asking questions. This year, if you believe God, God is saying, I will come to you. You will hear my voice in the night. God will just come and bring direction. Direction that you've been waiting for years. God will say, this is it. Walk in it. Wise men saw the star from the east. And it began, they began to follow that light until they arrived at where Jesus was. No confusion. They followed the light. For as long as they kept looking at the light, it kept directing them until it settled. May the Lord take the light and drop where your destiny needs to go and that you will just follow that light into unending levels of blessings and success. Light. Oh, how we need direction. How we need direction. Hallelujah. 
somebody just gets up and feels like you want to go to Saminaka. You see, there is nothing as terrible as being in a place where God is not. Because he's not committed to defend you. Hallelujah. Psalm 43 verse 3. Very interesting scripture. Direction. Hallelujah. Where we are today by the grace of God as a ministry is a product of divine direction. The ability to hear God. A lot of people say, I can be anywhere and I'll succeed. Try it. The Bible says, whatsoever he does prospers. Whatsoever he does prospers because it is directed. I prophesied as I was commanded, not as I wished, as I was commanded. Hallelujah. Oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me unto your holy hill and unto your tabernacle. Let your light lead me. This must be your prayer. Send your light. Hallelujah. Send your light. Let your light lead me. Light means life. L-I-F-E. Connotes life. John 8, 12. If we can have it in the Amplified. John 8, 12. Very powerful scripture. I'm telling you all of the things that are encapsulated in this word light. John 8, 12. Once more, Jesus addressed the crowd. He said, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not be walking in darkness, but will have the light which is. There is revelation that you have that will translate into the quality of your life. Are you getting my point? It says that this light this year can bring life to you. They are life to those who find them and health. That means the revelation you get can be what will be responsible for divine health. So that it's no longer an issue of guesswork. Hallelujah. Light. The light you have can put you in command of unbelievable realms of wealth and prosperity and it can add to the quality of your life. One department came to meet me and we were interacting with them and my heart broke so much. I was talking with them and just asking them their expectations for the year and what they want God to do for their life and family. I think almost everyone, their, their requests were just, or their expectations, intimacy with God and financial breakthrough for my family. There are many families that need the mercy of God. Is that true? It's easy for everybody to wear suit and come and sit down and laugh. But the Bible says, if you follow me, you will get light that will translate into light. Prosperity is a formula. It's not guesswork. It is specific. It is exact. And this is the year that you will know it for yourself. Hallelujah. As a ministry, we are unapologetic about wealth and prosperity. I'm not one of those many preachers that say, no, there's no problem. Just seek God. No. We believe. John Wesley said, any religion that does not cater for the economic well-being of the people is an irresponsible religion. We don't want people coming to worship and bow down and cry only to get up and go into prostitution and arm robbery and occultism because of lack. We don't want to hear that our parents are moving out Landlords are kicking them out of the house and every kind of thing happening. When you are blessed, it gives you options and you can choose to serve God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are many people who, get, who want to get married. For years they've been trusting God but there's no money. It's a terrible thing. Many of our family members want to do a lot of things. There are many of our family members, our parents are almost 60, 70 years. They cannot boast of one good house. 
not even a good car to help them. It's not, it's, it's an anomaly. But this year we will change it by the power of the light of God. Remember, God asked you a question. Can two walk together? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Light also means showing forth. Ah, this is the part I love. Light connotes a display, a revelation, a manifestation, an unveiling. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Arise, shine. Not because you have entered a new year. Arise, shine because your light has finally arrived. That revelation, amplified please. Can we see it? Isaiah 60 verse 1. Amplified puts it in a beautiful way. Arise from the depression and prostration which circumstances have kept you. It says rise to a new life. This is a prophecy for somebody. He said, arise. This is a prophecy for a family. Arise from the depression, this degradation that circumstances have kept you. He said, rise to a new life. He says, shine. Be radiant with the glory of the Lord. Why? For your light has come. Arise. This is what many of us will be telling our family members. I tell you this year, this year, some of you will single-handedly go home and just gather your family members and say salvation has come. What is wrong? What needs to be done in this family? Saviors, the Bible says, shall come out of Zion. It's time, this is the year your Christianity will have practical evidence to your loved ones. Don't blame them for going to harbor list until you can prove that there is a superior government that reigns on the earth. Don't blame them for going to witch doctors. Are you getting my point? Don't blame them for traveling around. We keep criticizing people rather than contending to deliver what is authentic. Let me tell you something. I showed the welfare department. Yeah, that was the department that came to see me. I showed them a video. Pastor Jakes called me and said, Josh, you need to see an incredible video. I said, really? What's the video? And he showed me the link. I I'm sure some of you have heard it. About a lake that just appeared in the east there was an explosion and the lake just appeared and muddy lake but it seemingly had the power to heal people thousands of people at once they went there no protocol no welfare no suit nobody called apostle people were coming from all over men you can keep criticizing human beings are too desperate to listen to you if you cannot bring the authentic light stop wasting your time are you getting my point? Watch the video and see people almost naked. They were videotaping them. They were bathing in the muddy water. That's because we men of God have failed them. We can stand and brag and make noise. And they will listen to us. Immediately they finish. They will travel and continue. People were cutting the tree. They were cutting the tree in the river just to take home. Paradventure. It will be responsible for healing and prosperity. And all of them, most of the people there said it has to be Jesus. How are you going to tell them this thing is demonic? When they sat down in your assembly for years and nothing happened. Are you getting my point? Let me tell you something. People are more desperate than ever. No rema. There was no man of God that came to compare spiritual things with spiritual things. The people were not daft. They came from all over. They were to an extent, brothers and sisters, that they were digging into the ground. And when they saw water, they just fetched it. People made money selling jerry cans, selling suya, selling, you know, the bike people. The bike people, they were interviewed and they were happy. They said, this has to be God. We've never had it this good. They said, do you plan for this water to stop? Say, why? No. Why? This is prosperity. I mean, ah. We are very unapologetic about the fact that it is God's desire to bless you. Prosperity does not take people to hell. It's materialism that takes people to hell. And materialism is not having materials. Materialism is the influence of what you have on your relationship with God. Hallelujah. Lazarus went to heaven with his poverty. Abraham with his prosperity is still in heaven. It was not too much money or lack of money. 
that took them. Many of the requests of our family members, for some of us, the whole request of our family members, what can bring peace in our entire family is not more than 100,000. And then they go to a herbalist and give him 20,000 and it doesn't work. They now go and borrow 50,000 and give him because they are looking for solution. May you be that light this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We arise and shine. Our light is come. For the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. We arise and shine. Our light is come. See the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Hallelujah. Insight, understanding, direction, life is showing forth. The Bible says that we have been called out of darkness into his marvelous light. We, we should show forth. Comes from the Greek word doxazo, a display of the decree of a king's splendor hallelujah it was the custom of kings in ancient times that when they achieved certain feats they will call people to come and celebrate with them this was the case with king ahasuerus and so he brought them to come and see his provinces this year may the lord make you an object of praise that he will use you as a testament of what he can do with a man Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you have all of this, then you can now become the light. You can now become the light. What does it mean to become the light? It means to become a standard. It means it, it, to become a pattern. To become a reference. Hallelujah. That when they are looking for a genuine, authentic Christian, you can be a reference. Matthew 5, from verse 14. 16 Matthew 5 verse 14 to 16 the Bible says you are the light Matthew 5 you are the light of the world the light of this system cosmos you are a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden that means whatever has covered your light this year must give way you are a city set on a hill and cannot be hidden. Verse 15. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket. He said, but on a lampstand and it will give light. Because of you, many people, you will be like the ark of Noah that incorporated. There are people who are not even born again, but because of your presence, the, the, the span of your light will cover certain people. There are many of our loved ones that need us. Without us, they may die. And the Bible says it gives life to all who are in the house. Verse 16. Let, permit your light. Let it so shine. Before who? Not before trees. God wants your light. That which he has made you become. He wants it to shine before men. That they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven hallelujah so as an individual you will become a standard this year that you will be a portrait of a balanced christian holy prosperous healthy genesis 24 verse 1 it says and abraham was old and well stricken in age and god had blessed him in all things all things all things this is the year we will contend for every part of our life to look like the image of the christ Hallelujah. You must contend. Not that you'll be prosperous and be sickly. Not that you'll be healthy. No, no. Every area of your life. Let your light so shine before men. That they may see your good works. And glorify your, your father in heaven. As a ministry, this is our prophetic destiny. The standard. Isaiah 49 verse 6. Isaiah 
Oh, I believe this with all my heart. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Oh, speak from your throne and the earth will hear. Send your word from your throne and the earth will hear my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god take my praise oh god Take my praise, Lord, my worship is calling you, oh God, my worship is calling you, hallelujah, God gave me this specific word, I shared it with the leaders, this is what God is going to be doing with us. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant. This is what we have been doing. To raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. But this is the new mandate. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles. It says that thou mayest be my salvation. Not bring it, be it. You will become a representation of my salvation even to the ends of the earth it says you have been faithful raising people training people building people i now measure a thousand cubits and i increase capacity he said i will also in addition to what you are doing i will give you as a light i will give you as a light unto the gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation to the ends of the earth this is what God is going to do this year. And then he will bring us through this light into a realm of dominion. Rulership. Let me show you one very powerful scripture. Zechariah 1.21 Dominion means absolute control. It means rulership. Sovereign authority. The ability to be in charge and to be in control. Hallelujah. This dominion is not just dominion over men. But dominion over first the forces of darkness. Are you getting my point? Then said I, what come this to do? Amplify it please. Can we have amplified? Then said I, What are these horns and smiths coming to do? And he said, These are the horns or powers that have scattered Judah. Judah means praise. There are horns that have stopped families from laughing. There are horns that have kept people down. He said, So that no man lift up his head. There are families and destinies where no man has been able to lift up his head. No marriage, no joy, no prosperity, no increase. Their spiritual lives dead. He said, but these smiths or workmen have come to terrorize them. These are the carpenters that God is sending. Hallelujah. He says they have come to terrorize, to cause them to be panic stricken. To cast out the horns or powers of the nations who lifted up their horns against the land of Judah. This is the year you will see the practical displacing of Satan. It will be a contention of light over darkness. Once and for all, the devil will give up over your life and your family. Please believe it. Please believe it. This is what dominion is all about. It's not about being commander-in-chief. 
and telling people come and clean my chair this is foolishness dominion is the ability to be a light hallelujah he said those in nephtha and zebulun have seen a great light a great light has come to them distant shores and the islands will see your light as it rises on us distant shores and the islands will see your light so there are horns remember our teaching give me this mountain brothers and sisters upon every mountain there are giants there is a spiritual dimension to this life hallelujah people do not just sit just succeed or or experience breakthroughs and increase but this year by the grace of god we will arise because our light has come and we will compel darkness to bow and all of these horns that have terrorized people and families they will give way one scripture psalm 1110 Psalm 110, sorry, 110, verse 2. A popular scripture. We'll read it together. 110, verse 2. Let's read, it's projected. It says, The Lord shall send the rod. What is that rod? Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me hallelujah that rod is the holy spirit because the holy spirit is the comforter he said the lord will send a dimension of the holy spirit that will open men to light and on account of that he said rule thou not in their absence rule thou in the midst of your enemies many of you your parents have not gone to the village for years because they know when they go they will die you are the one who will go and say let me see the devil Rule thou. Rule thou. This is the year you speak to somebody and say in the name of Jesus, let that barrenness be over and it leaves at once. This is the year somebody will come and lie down on your bed and get filled with the Holy Spirit and just get up born again filled with the holy spirit somebody takes tea in your house and goes back and unending breakthroughs because they just contacted light the bible says the light shines in darkness rule thou the lord will send the rod out of zion see let me tell you your blessing is not authentic until your family members participate in it this selfish christianity of chop alone where it the, the kingdom doesn't work that way as for me and my hallelujah i went home and i saw dramatic levels of breakthrough in my house i said that's right this is exactly how it should be hallelujah the devil will be under your feet hallelujah this is why we are teaching because the bible says we should do this but Hebrews chapter 2 tells us that we do not yet see all things. Remember our scripture? Let's look at it. Hebrews 2, verse 6 to 8. That's why we need light to enforce our dominion. Hebrews 2. But one in a certain place testified, saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him? Or the son of man that thou visitest him? 7. Thou hast made him a little lower than Elohim and crowned him with glory and honor thou didst set him over how many all the works of your hands that means nobody can use what was created to do enchantment against me the bible says i've been given authority how can a man use stone or use goat or animal and then make incantations i pity the man that will call my name in a shrine this is the year it will catch fire both the herbalist the person who brought it the Bible says Dagon fell. Dagon fell in the Bible. He has given him authority over all the works. All the works. Hallelujah. 
Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all things in subjection under his feet, he left nothing that is not put under him. But this is a dilemma. I said, but now we do not yet see all things. Are you seeing why light is important? Without light, there's no dominion. You can claim it, but it may not work. He says the reality now. So it speaks to us about God's perspective that this is what has been done. But right now, today, we do not yet see all things under his feet. But when light comes, it will grant us access to rule in the day and to rule in the night. Hallelujah. You believe this? These are the mighty things that God is going to do. Nigeria, the Lord revealed a few things to me. I'm not a prophet, but God speaks to me. And the Bible says, that which I tell you in the secret place, declare thou on the mountain top. We need to pray for our government. I saw a lot of political chaos. In fact, a lot of chaos. Hallelujah. We need to pray. A lot of chaos. We need to pray for the president that his life be preserved. Hallelujah. And then, the Lord showed me I saw another terrorist group that is even greater than Boko Haram hallelujah and they will begin to be pronounced again and again and this is the wickedness that the devil wants to bring this will not just be Nigeria across the entire sub-saharan africa because it's an agenda there is only one resistance to all of this god hallelujah praise the lord i saw so many things i told you last year or in 2007 the lord told me if you can remember I said an economic recession was going to come and hit the world in a very great way. That was when I began to talk of massive kingdom wealth transfer. In 2008, I said, this is the year. And when it happened, I said again that this is the first one. Another one is coming. And the Lord told me this year, the economic recession will hit again for the second time. You can't pray against it. You can only exempt yourself. It's a written judgment. Hallelujah. It's going to happen very chaotic it will humble the government of nations hallelujah it will humble people a lot nigeria is going to begin to come to the lamb light especially in terms of economics last year i said that nigeria was going to lead africa in terms of economic empowerment go and read the newspaper it has happened with over about 400 billion or so ahead of south africa this is happening god himself is bringing all of this and there will be such a manifestation of deliverance in nigeria this year this thing called deliverance you will see it in dramatic ways it will no longer just be in churches because of light and enlightenment hallelujah deliverance it will look like an object of mockery but don't you criticize it because it's the, the preparing ground for the birthing of something powerful i told you about ghana south africa and nigeria nigeria is going to is going to do a lot of mighty mighty exploits this year forget about all the stories that people are saying god is faithful hallelujah i also see that the Lord revealed to me a number of things. We have to pray against death for many, not families here, but generally in the country. We have to pray against death. Hallelujah. And I saw one of the things that the enemy is doing is infecting people with incurable diseases. This one is no longer 
just hallelujah diseases that medical science may not even be able to detect you just see people just dying hallelujah I don't know when it will happen but I will keep announcing it I saw the death of somebody who was once a president in this country hallelujah I had seen this two years ago I was there in a vision I saw his obituary and every new year God keeps reminding me I honestly don't know when it will happen but let's watch and see hallelujah and God is going to be doing great things this year we will experience levels of financial prosperity write it write it please write it I'm not just talking write it it's one of the things God specifically told me specifically if you don't believe it no problem you can believe the other things that we have but yes there will be an avalanche of wealth and prosperity praise the Lord we need to pray against death I saw a lot of ABU lecturers dying a lot of ABU lecturers dying this thing started last year. I began to caution this thing. A lot of ABU lecturers, especially professors. We need to pray because it's a demonic thing. It's not just normal. No. It's a very demonic thing. I saw a lot of academic exploits too this year. A lot of mighty academic exploits. Please believe me believe me recovery restoration for people especially people who have been praying i want us to pray so i'll just hurry up i'm just i don't want to forget anything marriages miracle mighty mighty marriages i saw this one it was so much i was surprised honestly i saw marriages i was scared trust me we will all live to see it. I don't mean here, Koinonia. Mighty, mighty marriages. Yes. How could I have skipped it? I saw a lot of marriages. Including those who did not even plan it. Yes, I saw surprises. Except, except, look, let me tell you, thank God we'll all be alive to see it you will see people who did not it was not part of their goal in january but the hand of god will move just leave god to do what he wants to do it's a year of light and dominion that's why god said can two work together listen listen and this is the scripture the lord told me when abraham took isaac for sacrifice there was no lamb yet but he said just go jehovah jireh god will provide and the bible says listen when the obedience of abraham was tested he said just go across there is a lamb on the second time when jesus needed to enter the city he said go to a city called straight you will see a coat that no man had ridden on it tell them the master has need of it believe it i love saying things before they come to pass hallelujah as a ministry we will experience levels of expansion and impact i saw it a lot levels of expansion i saw a lot of people getting blessed from niger niger republic i don't know what it is about that place but i saw so many people from the teachings niger republic so blessed i mean it was a wildfire it was causing a wildfire especially among the young people hallelujah so many other miraculous things 
that the Lord showed me, we will discuss it as we come, as, as the year. Um, another, oh, I remember, I must say it. I saw something that shocked me. Well, let me just say it. Still about prosperity. I was taken in a vision and I remember I was standing in front of this church. This, the, the Equa church. And I looked and I saw an array of cars. In my mind, listen, listen. In my mind, I was saying, uh -uh, a lot of cars right from that place down. And I was, I was, I was wondering. I said, Lord, what is all this one again? This is amazing. This is what you are going to do for families and for people. And many of them will be gifts. It will not be something that someone will buy. Gifts. Gifts. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe. of dramatic manifestations of miracles signs wonders in a scale that will shock you families i saw a lot of unbelievers i saw a lot of muslims coming here i saw a lot of some of our family members that vowed that they will never come here you watch them by themselves you don't need to by themselves the mighty things that God will do. Mighty things. Mighty things. In the rain, in the sun. Hallelujah. These great things that God will do. Hallelujah. Do you believe these things I'm sharing? Hallelujah. God will do this. For the glory of his name. Praise the Lord. I wanted to say it to him personally, but Bishop, I saw you driving a Camry, write it. Brown Camry. I've been struggling to tell him. God will bring a lot of prosperity, even in the house. You know, we had been planning for just one bus. You will be amazed to see what God will do this year amazed amazed not just because of project 10,000 hallelujah see the Bible says when Jesus was born some people saw the light and they started coming with their gifts they came with gold they came with frankincense they came with ma and the Bible says they started looking for that star nothing would deter them until they found the baby and they began to drop the gift watch out and see dramatic manifestations people would just be sleeping and god would just wake them and say come and bless the house of god come and bless the work of god hallelujah and i saw this spilling over to many families even restoration restoration supernatural restoration hallelujah very quickly so we'll pray a few resolutions that i want you to adopt this year a few resolutions you need to make up your mind on some things it's not enough to shout amen he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare with the prophecies that have been spoken unto you so when prophecy comes the Bible says a virgin will bear a son. It never said Mary. Mary made herself available. Huh? 
The Bible tells us someone was going to betray him, Jesus. He never called Judas. Judas aligned with that prophecy. Prophecy is like rain. If you bring a bucket, you will get water. Hallelujah. Number one, you must have a childlike heart of a learner. This year, 2011, you must increase your passion for insight. You must increase your passion. And this requires meekness and teachability. This is the year you throw away arrogance, MOG, MO, whatever. Just throw it away and humble yourself. Hallelujah. When it was time for Jesus to give them bread, he said, tell the people to sit down on the grass. That means if you are too big to sit down, no bread for you. He said, if you are interested in eating bread, sit down. Hallelujah. He says, one thing is needful. Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things, but this one thing is needful, to sit. Not to stand and be staring at the master, to sit. A position that puts you... In ancient times, when a rabbi was teaching, the people sat down. Nobody would stand and be listening to a rabbi. So this is the year that you will sit down. You must have a passion in your heart to learn. Some of you, even when you come out to pray, the way you are praying, we know you are far from God. You cannot even construct a good spiritual sentence. You just mix everything. You just know that this is... You know how politicians talk. When they come on stage, they try to act like they know God. But their addictions betray them. One of the common things in any culture is their language. Hallelujah. Number two, you must have a resolve. You must have a determination to apply and live by the revealed truth. No matter the price and no matter the temporary challenge. You must have a resolve. A determination to apply and live by the revealed truths. These truths that you are hearing, it will not profit you. Please, those outside, make sure you are listening. If you cannot write anything, you can come and meet the media people and they'll give you, our messages are free after the meeting. Apply the things, it's not just what you know, but what you know, what you understand and apply. Hallelujah. Apply the truth. No matter the price. No matter the challenge. Number three. You must have a resolve to place God and his agenda this year. Above every other pursuit. Above every other quest. And above every other ambition. You cannot give God second place this year. Hallelujah. So it's a time for you to go back and search. What have you put above God? There are many of us, you love God, you are born again. But for sure, God is not number one. You must make him above all. The true proof of love and passion is commitment. You cannot claim to love a man or a thing and not be committed. Doggedly committed. And let me use the opportunity to encourage you. Join a department. There are many of you that have been sitting here for one year, two years. You just come and find the place clean and you just start laughing. It's not good. You don't know how the chairs are clean. You don't know who swept what. You don't know where they had the rehearsals. And, and you are full of potential and grace. There is a dimension that only kingdom service can take you into. This should be the year. Many of us are afraid of commitment. Because we know we don't want to be serious with God. You don't want a situation where people will probe your life. There are many departments. Make yourself available. Hallelujah. Make yourself available. Huh? So just coming to sit inside and sit outside. Immediately they finish the grace. You and your friend, you just run away. Serve the Lord with diligence. Hallelujah. Number what now? four okay just two more resolve to see the glory of god revealed in every area of your life make up your mind that this year i'm not going to celebrate god in one aspect of my life and then have another aspect staring at me that means you must go and write all the areas of your life i have a series on prosperity coming so i'm going to teach on that 
but let me give you a preview that there are five areas of your life that you must experience prosperity the word prosperity comes from the word prosper it means to do well first is spiritual prosperity second is mental prosperity if you're a billionaire and you are mad you are not that's that's it doesn't make sense is that true number three is your health number four is your finances and number five is your relationships these five areas you must contend and tell god this year i must have rest round about the glory of the lord must be revealed in every one of these areas five resolve to enforce order in every area of your life this is very important many of us are so disorganized this is the year you will grow up in jesus name disorganized in every area of our lives this is the year you bring yourself into a level of decorum have order hallelujah one proof of excellence is order when everything is done decently when everything is done in order order means efficient management of your time your opportunities your resources bring your life under divine order no wasting of time no wasting of resources no wasting of opportunities you must bring your life under divine order hallelujah and finally you must make a determination to spend time with god this year in worship in prayer let seven days not pass let a week not pass that you will not dedicate at least a day in prayer and fasting those who built us spiritually did not teach us that prayer and fasting are part of the tools for efficient spiritual growth. So every time we do it, a lot of people just say, oh, okay, let's fast for 7 days or 21 days or 30 days or 40 days or 100 days or 200 days. And then after that, the people now say, God, I've given you your own share of the year. Leave the other for me. No. Fasting must be part of your life at least once in a year. Or once in a week, sorry. Thursdays are a good time to fast. Can fast on Thursdays. Prepare yourself. If you can't fast full day, at least fast half day. Quality half day. Quality half day. Don't wake up by 10 and, and pray by it. See, you remember the resolutions we are making. Some of you are already laughing. This is the year when you will be serious with God. If you want true spiritual power, spend time with God in fasting. Don't let anybody tell you the era of fasting is over and so on and so forth. No, no. Thursdays, for instance, 6 to 12, 6 to 2, 6 to 4, 6 to 6, as God grants you the ability. Very soon it will become part of your life. And then you will see the enormous spiritual capacity. He gave unto one five unto one two unto one one not according to their prayer request according to their ability the capacity they gave him determined what he gave them when the man with five increased capacity he sees it from the person with one and added to him if you enlarge when there was no more vessel the oil stopped flowing hallelujah praise the lord our priority this year as a ministry will be to build, to equip and empower God's people. Even through these meetings, we will keep on doing what we are doing. The hand of God is here. By the grace of God, we trust that this year, God will use this ministry in a very mighty way. Hallelujah. That every week will be a time of an unveiling of deep truths applicable revelations that you will see transformation in your life i was praying to god and i was i think i was discussing with the welfare i said this year by the grace of god i plan i i, I don't know I, I let me not implicate myself here but i pray that god will help me hallelujah i want to make sure that as much as possible every friday i'm around you see because my primary assignment is not to the nations around my primary assignment is to you first if you are not well fed and i'm around making everybody saying joshua selman koinonia and my own people are dying here reminds me of some of our parents isn't it we'll be dying at home and they are 
donating money in in foundations and and charities which is good but make sure your own people are well fed you can even add that as part of your goals this year that you will not do anything to anybody outside your family except God instructs that you have not done to the people around hallelujah if you buy chicken for other people then it means that there's chicken in your house if God gives you an instruction it's okay but where you just get up and starve the people in your house to feed other people it doesn't make sense hallelujah praise the Lord we trust God that we will experience healings, deliverance, and restoration and breakthroughs even through the power of the Holy Spirit. We really want to take advantage of our counselings, our Monday counselings. From this night, officially, we've resumed work. Our counselling, we want to dedicate time to minister to the people. Our Friday programs, Koinonia, School of Ministry, uh, more announcements will come on that, but we plan to take the school of ministry very, very serious. It's a special time we have to train and build our students, our external administration, media ministry, and so on and so forth. We are doing a lot uh, in Koinonia this year, and as other instructions come by, we will comply accordingly. Hallelujah. Say after me, this is my year of light. It's my year of dominion. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Rise up on your feet. We're going to take some quality time to pray. This is how to establish the prophetic word. We're not rounding up. We're praying. Hallelujah. I want us to take some time to pray. It says, this charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you wore a good warfare. What does it mean to war a good warfare in prayer? To say, Lord, I receive. This must be part of my life. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Please, I want you to pray instrumentalist. I hope you're ready. We're going to pray very, very seriously. Very seriously. Lift your voice and begin to thank him for the prophetic word. Say, yeah, of light and dominion. Begin to bless him. Thank you for the word, oh God. I believe the word. I believe the word. I believe the word. I believe the word. Make sure you are praying. Outside, everywhere, make sure you are praying. This is between you and God. You are making the word real to you. Lord, is my year of light. My year of insight. Increased insight. Rekete koshota baka pregere balarabash. Sheka baka tabalarabash. I thank you for the word. I thank you for the word. I believe the word. I will see it manifest in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray supernatural insight into scripture. Say, Lord, open my eyes this year. Lift your voice and pray. Open my eyes, oh God. Show me hidden mysteries. Let there be an unfailing, a revelation of deep kingdom mysteries, deep kingdom principles that are responsible for victory, for health, for prosperity that will empower me to be an ambassador in thee open my eyes the spirit of man is the candle of the lord searching the inward parts of the belly open our eyes oh god that we may behold wondrous things out of your law Give me revelation. Pray. Paul said, For this cause, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may grant unto you the spirit of revelation and understanding 
the eyes of your understanding being flooded with light that she may know that she may know pray open my eyes oh god open my eyes oh god hallelujah insight that you just pick up your bible and god will show you something that will set you on your feet it will show you something that will open you up to a, another world of grace hallelujah hallelujah listen listen two years or three years ago one time i was praying and the lord showed me a vision and that thing changed my life forever i saw like a big like an ancient door and when i looked at it very well i found out that there were small small doors that made up that big door and when i came closer it, it was like they zoomed me and when i came i found out that on every of those small small doors there were scriptures written on it and the lord told me that whatever scripture that truly enters you that door is open unto you that means what is possible for some uh, may not be possible for Folake. Are you seeing that? The difference is that the light you are seeing is not sufficient to open that door. But the Bible says, I have set before you an open door. No man can shut it. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. We are going to pray for understanding it's not enough to have insight listen listen take this prayer point seriously you're going to say lord all the principles that are responsible for the various areas of lifting show me how they work show me how they work lift your voice and pray show me the keys of wealth oh god show me how to operate it show me the keys of the anointing Show me how to access the fountains of spiritual power. Show me the keys of holiness. Show me the keys of deliverance. Show me the keys that will make me command power even in my family. Make sure you are praying, understanding, and with all you're getting, get understanding know how it works know how it works it's not enough to have keys know how to apply it for maximum results pray pray show me oh god the keys show me how to operate it the bible says they know not neither do they understand and so they grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course show me i tell you many of you as you are praying right now god will begin to give you understanding show me the mystery behind the operations of wealth show me the mystery behind the operations of grace show me the mystery what makes the spirit of god become so real to a man show me the secret of church growth the secret of increase the secret of influence the secret of leadership the secret of power the secret of abundance show me oh god the mystery of doing business in deep waters of the spirit show me show me teach me oh god hallelujah 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 we are going to pray isaiah 48 verse 17 can we project that Let's see, I hope I'm right. Lipo Shataka Pradika Labo Sipreanda. 
Everybody read it. You are going to pray and say, Lord, this year, you are going to direct me and my life will experience increase only. He said, I am the Lord that teacheth thee to profit. I can teach you how to do it and lead you in the way that you should go. Lift your voice and pray. Rekoto Sekata. Divine direction. Let the stars shine. Let the morning stars shine, oh God. Lead me to the place of destiny. Lead me to the next level. I'm tired of confusion. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. Rekete Kalabababa. Go ahead and pray. Maritali, give me direction, oh God. I cry for direction. Financially, give me direction, oh God. Academically, lead me, oh God. Let the star arise and let me follow the star. In terms of my career, lead me, oh God. Rekoto Seketa. Lead me. Show me in my ministry. Show me, oh God. Show me. Give me direction. Pray. Illumination. By light. I am the Lord that teacheth thee to profit and lead you. Show me. Show me. Show me, oh God. Where you want me to be. What you want me to do, who you want me to connect with, show me, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next prayer point. You're going to pray and say, Lord, let a new dimension of unction, let a new dimension of power man to my life this year. Lord, I want to move in the anointing in a level of grace. He said, and he measured a thousand cubits. Lift your voice and pray. A thousand cubits. And he was to my ankle. For no man can do these things except God be with him. Pray. My horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. And you will anoint me with fresh oil because thou hast loved righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, even thy God, had anointed you. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Pray. Lord, I'm moving in the anointing. Pray. This is the year you do business with the anointing, you do your job with the anointing, you minister with the anointing, you conduct your activities under the influence of a heavy unction. He says, You have an anointing from the Holy One, and you know all things. Pray, pray, worship Him, pray. We minister with the anointing. Media pray. The anointing takes us to another level. Pray upon pray. We are praying with the anointing. Regoto Seketa. Koinonia pray. This is our year of the anointing. Inside and outside. No matter how far you are. Let that anointing take you. Walk in signs, wonders, miracles. Let the sick be healed through your life let breakthroughs let chains be broken let lives be delivered and restored let sinners be saved let the anointing make you a savior let the anointing make you a deliverer hallelujah hallelujah 
two more prayer points and we're done. Please, everybody, participate. We're establishing the prophetic word right now. Hallelujah. Listen. This next prayer point is very important. You're going to pray. Listen. The Bible says, arise. It says, shine. And the Bible says in Daniel, I believe 12 or 22 or so, I can't remember verse 3. It says, and they that be wise shall shine like the firmament of the heaven. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars even forevermore. Listen, you are going to pray. It's not a selfish prayer. Don't pray for your neighbor. You are praying for yourself. You are going to say, Lord, display, show what you have put in me this year. My God, let men see the hand of God. Go ahead and pray. Unveil it. Unlock it, oh God. In 2014, my year of light, I manifest. I am a city to my family, in my department, in my faculty, in my place of work, in my place of business. Reketetetekata. Let there be a showing forth. Show forth, oh God. Show forth prosperity through me. Show forth a healthy Christian through me. Show forth holiness through me. Show forth breakthrough through me. Let me become a portrait and a pistol. Show forth. Manifest, oh God. Manifest, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. There are many of us. This is the year. Your destiny helpers are, so, so, are supposed to see you. Hold on. You are going to pray that that veil that has covered that grace of God in you, that unction, the Bible says there is this treasure. There are many of you, you have been relegated to the background. This is the year. This is the year. Say, Lord, arise in me. Come on, pray. Lord, arise. Let men see you through me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If you're looking for a vessel, I'm available. Let me be an epitome of the anointing, an epitome of wisdom, an epitome of wealth and prosperity, an epitome of leadership, an epitome of power, an epitome of revelation. Pray. Pray. Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters, this prayer is so powerful. There are many of you that have business ideas, but nobody knows. It's an idea that can bless you and stop hunger in your family but nobody knows when light comes it exposes darkness let me show you a scripture galatians 1 galatians 1 let's just look at that one scripture galatians 1 verse 23 and 24 galatians 1 god wants to walk through you not for pride and arrogance are you getting me I'm not talking of the kind of lifting and influence that takes you to hell. But they had heard only that he which persecuted us in time past now preached faith which once he destroyed. 24. Everybody read it. One to read. And what? How did they glorify God? That means when they saw what God did with my life and they said, Lord, is this what you meant when you said you can bless people? Is this what you meant when you said you can use people? Are you ready to pray this prayer again? Lift up your voice. Say, Lord, I'm available. 
am available. Make a spectacle out of my life. Lord, make a spectacle out of Koinonia in 2014. Dr. Sasso, let there be a display of the glory. Let the nation see we are a city on a hill. glorified God in me hallelujah hallelujah you're going to pray for yourself now and your family and say Lord it's also my year of dominion listen you're going to pray and say Lord I don't just want to chorus this it must be dominion dominion means absolute control are you listening to me? Therefore pray that for you and your family, whatever has mocked God to your face, this is the year it must come under your feet. Lift your voice and pray. Dominion, oh God. Kingdom authority. Pray. Is it finance? Is it a terminal disease? Is it lack of breakthrough? Is it sin? Your family members are not saved. Pray. Get angry in your spirit. Those outside are you praying? Those outside are you praying? Rekoto Sheketai. Total dominion. No more fibroid this year. No more getting sick and getting well. No. Pray. No more prosperity today and poverty tomorrow. You will not be on fire today and backslide tomorrow. No. The part of the just is as a shining light. It shines brighter, brighter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now you're going to pray for Koinonia. We are going to say, Lord, take us to another level. Take us to another level. Another level of impact. Another level of prosperity. Pair yourselves into three. Pair yourselves into three. Those who are lying down or praying, just leave them. Those who cannot stand, just leave them. I want us to pray seriously. Hallelujah. You're going to say, Lord, lift us up. We're not just asking for fame. We're asking for impact, salvation, transformation. Come on, lift your hands and pray. Let this place become Bethel, the place of bread. Bethel, the place of bread. If you love this ministry, pray. The ministry is not Joshua Selman. The ministry is you. Lord, a harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. Transformation, oh God. Drunkards will come here and become apostles prostitutes will come and become prophets your word is mighty and it prevails in our midst your word is mighty and it prevails in our midst this year we experience character we experience excellence at another dimension. We experience wealth and prosperity as a ministry at another dimension. Revival, oh God, let there be a fire of revival that will spark from here and spread to the nations 
and spread to cities and spread to campuses and spread pray pray for our Friday programs pray for the counseling pray for all our external ministrations pray pray for the miracle services Lord let every service be a miracle service beginning from this one let every service be a miracle service let this place become a solution center let this place become a place of authentic miracles authentic signs wonders breakthroughs restoration let the sick come and be healed let blind eyes be healed let incurable diseases be cured let there be a mantle of healing of breakthrough of prosperity may men come here and have their spiritual life fired up fired up passion oh god passion oh god for the things of the spirit this is a place where we infect people with hunger with passion with fire for the things of the kingdom pray this is a place of love no discrimination no discrimination this is a place of love everyone is special everyone is honored we will not teach error in this place Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. We're almost rounding up. Listen, please. Inside and outside, everybody listen. Please. Hallelujah. I want you to know that in 2014, you are first an ambassador of heaven. Second, you are an ambassador of this ministry. Are you listening to me? That the gentleman who came and testified that he went to preach. I'm not the kind of people that does God of this, God of that. I don't have any. We teach kingdom. We give you a kingdom mindset. Are you listening to me? But because you belong to this structure, you must, there are certain, we have a culture. Are you listening to me? We have a culture. You can come as you are, but you do not remain as you are. Something should happen and change you. Hallelujah. We have core values in this place. Our first core value is love. That's why you don't see anybody. We don't say come and sit down because your father is the president or your father is the governor. We don't want to know. Where God grants us opportunity to know, we salute you and then that's all. Hallelujah. So you must contribute in letting the love of God. The first thing that should be seen in your life is love not power love you can be anointed and not walk in love that means this is the year that you maintain your words the bible says let your words be seasoned with salt that it may minister grace make up your mind this year no gossiping about people no backbiting no carrying news left right and center your job is to love if somebody does something go and talk to him not about him Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? The love of God. He says, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. Not when you raise the dead. When you have love one for another. Hallelujah. There is no doubt that you step on one another's toes. So you must, it must be a predefined thing in your heart that you're going to walk in love. Because the Bible says there remain these three, faith, hope, and love. He said the greatest is love. Hallelujah. So this is the spirit and the culture that you must have. Your conversations must speak love. When you are angry, keep quiet rather than saying nonsense. Hallelujah. The Bible says, he that does not err, if a man err not in words, that man is a perfect man, able to burdle his tongue. Don't just say anything anyhow. Number two, character. Everybody say character. There are many Christian circles where the men of God are just thinking of power. 
Let me tell you, anointing can take you far, but it's character that will sustain you. Hallelujah. That's the reason why you can see a ministry rise up. They are anointed and then they fall like a leaf because they lack the character. This must be the year you will contend to manifest a Christ-like life. You don't live a life, a dirty, polluted life somewhere and then the only place they just see you in church and people say, ah, ah, even you. Character. It must not be something you fake. It must be a revelation. And that's the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Character. Every, the entire scope of whatever character means to you. When you do something wrong, tell people I'm sorry. Don't say, Debbie, I'm older than you. When I graduated, you just entered secondary school. No, no. Have respect for people. Don't come with village and tribal and cultural mindsets. I'm from a royal family in a village. I must sit down before others sit. Keep your, you have been called out of every tribe and tongue. Are you getting my point? Listen, let me tell you something. Many of us here are young people and we are, we are, this is a training ground. We are training you not just to be anointed people but to be leaders. So that when you go somewhere you can speak aright. You have a culture. Don't speak anyhow. Hallelujah. Remember you are representing Christ. Especially for as many of us outside. Speak like a believer. Always know that the Holy Spirit is in you. Number three, the anointing. You must contend and let the anointing find expression in your life. It's not enough for you to just come and be blessed. You are a, a, an extension of the ministry. Our job here is to equip you and release you with the power of the Holy Spirit. You should go back to your hostels, go back to your workplaces and legislate on behalf of the kingdom. Not to be jumping and shouting and saying, I'm anointed, let everybody in this office bow to me. Demonstrate it. When there is breakthrough, when there is wisdom, when there is character. Hallelujah. Number four, this year, you must adopt excellence as a lifetime. Everybody say excellence. We must keep contending. It's one of the things I told the leaders, and we'll still talk more during our retreat. Hallelujah. Excellence. Excellence is not about an expensive life. Excellence is an organized life. Are you following me now? Excellence from your personal hygiene to everything about your life. There are some of us who are born again, but we are so dirty. You are so dirty. This is the one weakness. This is where the devil is cheating you. This year you must repent. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't just laugh. excellence hallelujah your words your words you must pray this year those dirty godless films that keep putting satanic dictions you must get them out of your life because you are a man on a mission don't say anything and say this is the slang in vogue this is a kingdom this is a culture hallelujah Jadel sang and said this is my culture you have a culture don't go ahead. They, they see you in, in, in the market and you are speaking as if, as if you, are, you are never born again. Even in your joke, joke the word. Speak the word. I'm saying this to you because many of you are emotional now. Immediately you step out of here, you almost want to do something. You just remember, ah. Don't do things because of men. Do it because God Almighty is watching you. But much more than that, that he desires to use you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Think before you talk. Don't just say everything. Even what does not concern you. This is how many people put themselves into trouble. You go and choke your mouth into people's businesses and enter their trouble too. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's very, very important. So let this year be different. Say, I'm a light. Say it, I'm a light. No offense, no unforgiveness, no God forbid, no over my dead body. All those demonic languages, pack them and throw them outside. This is a new season. Even when, see, people will mock you, whether in your workplace or your department. Let them mock you until they see what you become. They are only mocking you because they are intimidated by the light that is shining. Hallelujah. When somebody talks against you, bless you. 
When they think you are coming to divorce them, you say, bless you. I heard what you said. I'm not happy, but I love you. I belong to a government. Are you following me now? Not the year of saying, let me meet with him and you will know him. I asked you from the beginning, can two walk together? So are you ready? See, this is it. If you are ready to walk with God, you will see his hand. But if you, are, if you don't see the hand of God, this year is not God's fault. For me, I told God, I said, Lord, whatever it takes, I'm ready to walk with you. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you now. I want you to believe it. I want you to believe it. I told God, I said, Lord, I'm more committed than ever before to serve your people. And I'm saying it before everyone. My, my primary assignment, listen, my primary assignment is you. You. Whenever you talk of koinonia, think of yourself. Don't think of Joshua Selman or the leaders in the ministry. No. Hallelujah. Without you, we have no ministry. Hallelujah. And I pray to God. I said, Lord, I'm ready to make sure that all that you have put in me, let your people receive it. Hallelujah. Before we go and we are traveling around and blessing other people, and then you are hearing of the mighty things that God is doing with us in other places, and you are wondering, oh Lord, I'm so close. And I'm not receiving anything. I told God, I said, Lord, if I never go for any ministration, this is why we are opening up the doors for counseling and all of, all of these avenues. We are restructuring the leadership to allow us to have access. In fact, I was talking with somebody and my heart was bleeding. I said, this year I will make sure I have time for the workers. There are many times that many of you want to see me, but because of how busy we are, I told myself, I said, look, not only will I be a leader or have an apostolic ministry this year I want to be a father I don't want people sitting down and dying and then we are there let me tell you even if the whole Nigeria is talking about us and you are not getting blessed we have failed this is what people like Joseph Suleiman will call public success and private failure are you getting my point even if they say this ministry is not being impactful if you are being blessed we are fulfilled because you are our primary assignment and so i'm telling you again on behalf of myself and the leadership of this ministry we are committed we will keep fasting we will keep praying until you become all that god has destined for you to be even before anybody so please and please i want you to relax and know that you are not all of you i'm speaking to everybody even those outside we don't have second class citizens in koinonia are you listening to me we don't have favorites no we love people based on our assignment it will have to make us interact with more people than others but let me tell you something everybody in this ministry has a right to be heard has a right to see me i'm not one superman in myself somewhere are you following me now because i know that i need to say this because many of you may have been feeling i know that there are some of you i remember one day a lady tried calling me and i just woke up in the night and i decided that the next day i was going to call her when i picked i called her this lady shouted she could not believe she dropped the phone you understand she was surprised her pursuit, i think she was telling her mother for many of you that's nice you feel like a celebrity based on god's standard that is that is very bad of a leader i can't promise seeing everybody where you want don't wake me when i'm sleeping because i made a commitment to help i still have my sense all right i won't pick your call praise god but then i'm saying there is a system hallelujah by the grace of god i've made up my mind that we will have special counseling sessions for the workers special just the workers one by one by one one by one you see everybody pray with you if you're not a worker these are some of the things you are missing praise god hallelujah there are privileges that our leaders must receive for instance the heads of department cannot book for counseling it's an insult why will my leaders book for counseling to come and see me you see that so don't be offended if you have to book for counseling. 
I promise you will stay as long as possible to meet your needs. Are you following me now? And some of your family members, if you try to call me and I don't pick, by God's grace, we are going to announce, we are strategizing. In fact, there are a few new departments we are creating to make sure that we meet the needs of everybody, that even if it's a text you send, you will be responded to. So just cooperate with us. We are improving. This year will be better than last year in Jesus' name. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. You too, you must be ready to cooperate. Look at me. I've said my own part. What I'm committed to do to you, you must be committed. Your own part of commitment is don't frustrate our sacrifice. Receive what we are teaching. Let it not enter one ear and go out there. Put it to work. Anybody greater than you knows something you do not know. If you will humble yourself and pursue, it will make your life easy. Let me tell you, still related to the second point, we, we don't ask questions. That's why our lives are hard. We, we work with too much assumptions. We don't ask questions. When you see somebody who is rich, truly rich, you don't pay the price to ask him, what are the secrets? What are you doing? We are living in the same world. When you see somebody who is anointed, you never pay the price to say, how, how are you doing it? A brother is looking for a wife. There is another brother with 10 ladies wanting to marry him. And that one is angry. Instead of humbling himself to say, I asked five ladies out. I even had a dream about two. They all said no. My brother, is there something you are doing? And he tells you, ah, this is one secret about ladies. They always want an environment of joy and peace. Your environment is very choking, very serious. Make that adjustment. Wisdom. Is God speaking to us? We live lives on assumption. Assumption is the least level of knowledge. You can't afford to assume on your destiny. Ask questions. I ask questions about ministry. I ask questions about greatness. I ask questions about different areas of life. When last did you ask a successful? See, don't ask somebody who is struggling just like you. Love them. But they are not the kind of people who... Pro you see, let me tell you why many of us fail. When things are not going well, you meet your colleague that two of you are struggling together. And you say, what's your idea about this? Say, thank you for asking me. And I think it is A and B and C. Learn from everybody, but pursue successful people. Learn from everybody. Even the ant has something to teach you. So learn from everybody. But don't sit down and mentor failures. You will be like them. I never pursue average people. I never pursue weak people. I never pursue people with results. I pursue people who know how to reproduce the results. Show me a man that knows nothing but has the humility to seek wisdom. That's why I love my Bible. My Bible for me is God's treasure of wisdom. Mike Modoc, can you take it down? He sings a beautiful song, one of his best songs. He says, your favor is like sunrise wiping all my nights away i found the cure to my foolishness i can't trust my life outside this world there's too much foolishness that culture has given me there's too much foolishness that growing up as a young man has put in me i need something to edit my life to wisdom and this is what i found that's why for me the word of god is a matter of life and death it is your cure for a foolish life lift your bible And say the word of God is the answer to a foolish life. Say the word of God is my cure for a foolish life. See, don't be embarrassed by what I just told you. And don't feel insulted. In every one of us by default there is foolishness. It will not remove itself like that. It takes the word of God. The more I read the word of God the more I see how foolish I am outside of the word of God. I've seen things. Listen, there are times a few people who 
who have access to my private life see sometimes i'm studying the bible and you can see me i can just stop and tears are just running out of my eyes because i found the answer to the cure for a foolishness in my life if you are embarrassed that there are foolish things you are doing you will never rise I love sitting at your feet. That's his song. I love hearing what you say. I love knowing your desires. I'm so pleasured to obey. Your favor is like sunrise Driving All my nights away I love sitting At your feet Every single day I love sitting at your feet every single day whose life are you unembarrassed to pursue and learn from if there is nobody before you no successful person you are pursuing passionately to learn wisdom i guarantee you life will punish you again and again I don't want to be poor in my life I hate poverty and so I made up my mind to learn everything I could learn about wealth I still am learning I've studied the wealthiest people on earth literally all the billionaires one by one I've studied their lives I've studied people who demonstrated wealth in the Bible Abraham Isaac I've studied men like Bishop Oyedepo, Kenneth Copeland, David Ibiome, people who represent the portrait of a prosperous life. I pay the price to seek knowledge. I've studied the largest churches in every continent. I know them. I can tell you without thinking. I've studied the lives of the pastors. What brought the crowds to them? I've studied the lives of very anointed people, right from the generals to great men like Benny Hinn. What was their secret? The reason why we fail again and again is we are not studying successful people. The Bible says in Isaiah 51, it says, Look unto Abraham your father and to Sarah that bore thee. He said, For I called him alone and I blessed him and I increased him. Look unto him, meaning understudy his life. Please, cut short your journey to success by following wisdom. Pursue it. Wisdom leaves trails behind. If you are interested, you will find it. Don't try to discover a road that has been found. Ask for the ancient paths. Don't labor trying to discover it. It's been found. There's nothing you really want in life that somebody has not gotten. So that's the second law we violate. We do not passionately pursue wisdom and understanding. There are times I can lock myself up for two days, three days, and all I'm watching is videos upon videos. Videos of men of God. Sometimes I can play worship songs or play the videos of men of God. And while it is playing, I will just be praying in tongues all through. I have in my phone videos i partition my phone into different compartments worship songs teachings that bless me i'm not pursuing say in the name of jesus i make up my mind to pursue wisdom and to get understanding brothers and sisters look at me i don't care what is not working in your life right now I don't care what the ridicule is. You can determine the lifespan of your tragedy. 
by the speed with which you pursue wisdom. You prolong your tragedy when you fail to seek wisdom. You prolong your tragedy. Ah! The moment you find wisdom, begin to rejoice, even if you are in the fire, because you are coming out. For sure. For sure. Number three. The third principle we keep violating to our detriment is that we do not live by the truths that we have found. How true. Some of us, and for many of us who have been coming for koinonia and have had access to the teachings, the truth is many of us, there are very few of us that will say we do not know certain laws, especially in certain areas. But we do not live by the truth we know. You see, knowledge is not power. Consistently applied knowledge is what is power. The truth you know that you do not live by. Notice I did not say practice. Let me tell you another mistake we make. Many of us try to practice. We don't live by. You see, when you try to practice a thing, it's because your conviction about it is still dwindling. When your conviction about a thing is certain, you don't practice, you live by it. Those who practice principles are conscious of the results. Those who live by principles know it must produce. They have moved past just results. Ah, but I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded. Job was so confident that when a man hooks up to God, he can come out of everything. And he says, though he slay me, yet will I praise him. He said, all the days of my appointed time, I will wait until my change comes. It was this understanding that made Daniel, listen, Daniel was not trying to practice faith. He was living a life of faith. That's why when they threw him in the lion's den. Let me tell you how those who try to practice these principles behave. When they try to practice, they are looking at the other end of it for results. And the moment they don't find results, once, twice, those who are trying to practice prayer, they pray for one week, and then they quickly watch the results. And they say, this thing is not working. Then they gas out. They try to look for something else. But there are those who live by prayers. Those who practice trying to study the word. Those who try to practice staying in God's presence. Listen, don't try to practice these principles. Live by them meaning sustain a conviction that is beyond their producing results to you that if they never produce results you cannot undo them again we do not live by the truths we know inaction and disobedience has been one serious reason why many of our lives have been stuck in one place in action closely related to this we don't take steps we never act we are afraid listen i shared it during the graduation of our school of ministry students you will have to take a step one day and walk on the water a day will come you must take that step you must take that step take it and fail but take it the one who takes a step and fails is more honorable than the one who never takes any step. The one who wrote jump five times and failed is more honorable than the one who just sits down and didn't write jump. Are we together? The one who tried to look for 10 jobs with zero results is better than the one who just kept his certificate lying down and complaining and saying in the days of our parents, government used to give people jobs. step out of that comfort zone step out of that place of comfort i know somebody who got a job he got a job as a student i think he was in 300 level when he got a job he had mastered it was something that had to do with it and he knew it so well he went and took a step and wrote a proposal and you know when he wrote it they asked him they thought he had graduated and served and when he wrote everything they said okay so um, what did you study he said no I'm, I'm still a student in training and the man said walk out of my office he said sir please 
give me about five or ten minutes according to what he said if i do not convince you that i know what i'm doing i will step out and the mistake that man made was to give that guy ten minutes and he wowed him there and then they gave him a job he was paying immediately he finished he went to serve there he's still working there but there are other people who that man is their uncle there are people who are neighbors to that workplace how many people for instance who live very close to cjc here and have been oppressed by demons for many years and have never come to just sit down it's just a two minutes walk am i right just a two minutes walk when they see people gather they'll sit down outside and be talking when i step out they say that's him and then all the stories that follow him. are we together disobedience you must live by conviction so i've identified three things let's review it quickly number one is lack of determination see if you want to be anointed you will be anointed the reason why the anointing has not come in your life is because you have not pursued it diligently you are pursuing the anointing as if um have you seen a hungry man looking for food yeah it doesn't say please microwave it uh, sharply i mean somebody that let's say three days fast I, I i don't like food that is cold or it looks like why this rice is looking sticky it's like it has spoiled he will first eat it is when he's done you say ah, but this rice why is it tasting like this because he divorces it that's how you must pursue life everything i do i seek it with see that's why i'm hardly committed in many things because i have a contagious level of commitment i'm not committed in many things in my life but when i commit to things i stay there i stay there i'm committed to the assignment that god has given me even if i come for koinonia and i find only two people i will feel bad i will go for a retreat and ask what happened but it will never make me just get up and say, Talk, Lord, that's it. Um, let me just dust my form and go and look for pilgrims. Uh, what do you call it? A trip to Jerusalem to just go there and be like many Nigerians and never come back. Just dodge and run away. Or let me go and look for green card and relocate to America. No. Kai, you must have the spirit of a fighter. Many of us don't know how to fight. We are too weak to succeed. You must have the audacity of winners. Is God speaking to us tonight? Please! You are not the first to fail. You are not the first to try. You want to build a house. You have only five naira. You will sit down there and die not building that house. If you really want to, you will build it. Say after me, I have the spirit of a winner say it say i have a determination of a winner say in the name of jesus i will weary failure until i succeed say it again in the name of jesus i will weary failure until i succeed i remember one of our great ones mazi prosper is his wedding in i think a week or two from now and he returned from the states and came to my place and he was thanking me we were talking i met mazi prosper in 2004 when he started his comedy the truth is he wasn't very funny when he started all those things sometimes you just laugh it's more of his face that makes you laugh than the joke are we together now and so i said kai this guy but i encouraged him there were times when he would send me a text and say ah, what happened somebody promised him that they would give him a show and then they would later push him back for another person and he should continue i told him keep on keep improving yourself see let me tell you brothers and sisters it's okay for people to laugh at you it's not unusual let them laugh because they'll be the ones to defend you tomorrow they can't say you jump the process because they will say i laughed at him even me i thought he would fail let them laugh at you are we together they saw when you started the business they saw when you started the saloon 
they saw when they came and locked the shop because you could not pay rent they even helped you to pack your things out of the shop with the embarrassment continue in the midst of that years go back and study find out who is the best hairstylist what are their secrets labor and pay the price to get knowledge when you have the leading saloon in any place people will say i said i said it even those who criticize you i knew he would be successful oh brothers and sisters is great to conquer challenges the other side of pain is sweet i tell you this from experience the other side of pain is delightsome a woman carries pregnancy spitting all around looking as if she would die but when the child comes people come to visit her and they bring gifts and she looks at a new baby and she's blessed learn this the other side of pain is glory unlimited if you think it's costly to be successful let's consider the alternative are you ready to consider the alternative failure all the way pain all the way broken down and spread through your lifetime it's better for me to take 10 years of my life and pay the price and live the remaining part of my life making a mark for the kingdom than living in denial and living in fear and living in lies for 70 years of my life and in my old age i find out that the prophecy of those who hate me have become self-fulfilling be determined go for knowledge unembarrassingly go for knowledge see seeking wisdom will sting your ego settle it before the time someone came today and met me with a proposal the first time he sent me a text for the proposal i didn't even reply him i just left him not intentionally really probably i didn't pay attention to what he was saying and then he sent it again and then he sent it again we returned back from a trip yesterday he sent another text for me and then i was talking to a few people this morning and then he called me and i said this guy is serious i told him come when he came i wasn't concerned about the proposal i collected it look at what he had to it was something about his company he needed advice and i dropped it and i said you are a smart person let me add value to you and i told him sit down i began to share with him a few things i've learned and he was amazed i gave him a few videos i said this will help you i would never do this to anybody by default even my blood brother if you don't seek it you will never get it please stop trying to help people who do not want your help they will trample on your help i've learned this learn it never try to help people who are not prepared for it they will not appreciate it if you are not thirsty and i bring water you can carry it and stone it back at me are we together thank you jesus so pursue knowledge and number three live by the truths live by the truths please how many people don't tithe i tell you i can almost tell you that more than half of the people here are not consistent with tithing don't blame god for closed heavens i can tell you this i can look at your life and unashamedly tell you the areas where you are not living by the word of god it's not a lie i'm being sincere with us is that all right so that we don't come and lie and fall under the anointing and sweep the ground and get up and go back we are not living by the word god is my witness ask those who are close to me everything god blesses me with before i think of anything the tight god's portion is out i don't practice it i live by it it's a law there's no man who jumps up and continues going up you must come down it's a law are we together now why will you keep punishing yourself by fighting the laws that are older than your existence why fight the laws of god why not come into alignment I have learned the excellency i found myself many times violating the laws of the kingdom and my goodness the experiences have been nasty align yourself with the laws of the kingdom and you will find freedom true freedom
they know not the bible says neither will they understand he says they grow up in darkness and the whole earth is out of course wisdom it is wisdom that brought many of us here are we together listen when saul lost his father's when his father's donkey was missing saul and one other person and the servant they were on their way to look for it they tried looking for it by themselves and they had to acknowledge and say look every knowledge we know as far as recovery is concerned we have exhausted it he said see let us take another alternative that's what brought many of us here there are many people who will not humble themselves to say see i have tried this situation i don't know whether it's demonic or is my own but at least let me go to an atmosphere where i can find explanation if you do this you are wise are we together if you do this you are wise and they said there is a man of god let's go and meet him even if we are wrong let us find somebody who can tell us we are wrong notice everybody who met a man of god to solve their problem the man did more than what they, are, they came for he trivialized their problem look at naman his breakthrough was only seven baths away yet he lived his lifetime suffering i have learned by experience that breakthrough is not difficult it is access to the platform for the breakthrough that is hard but the day you find a place of breakthrough brothers and sisters in 24 hours your captivity of decades can come to an end the price is not to get breakthrough the price is to go to the atmosphere where breakthrough is a possibility that's your price is god speaking to us they went to samuel the major issue was the issue of restoration but when they went to samuel listen all that samuel told them was is it not the donkey is being found please there are more important issues can you imagine to them that was the big deal let's look for our father's donkey but samuel said leave the issue of donkey i speak or yeah he's being found look at naman when naman went to go and meet elisha what did he say to go and bath it didn't even come out just go and take your bath seven times ah, he went to take his bath and that was the end of it brothers and sisters tonight many of you are face to face with realities that can wipe your tears of decades but it is for you to recognize your own part has been done by coming to the atmosphere now step back and allow god to step in you see that your own part there are few prophets that i've met in my life true prophets one day I met a man of God, a true prophet of God. And I was explaining a few things to him, areas of confusion here in my life. Do you know that before I would talk to this man, he looked at me and smiled. He said, did God not show you what you are going through now? Ah. And I just looked at the man. He said, you are pretending as if God did not show you. But did he not show you the other side too? See that? Yeah. Go and take the yellow book among your books. Read it now. Page 70. That's where God gave you the prophetic word. That's, he said, please, this issue is not the issue we are discussing. Let's discuss the next level of ministry. How is koinonia doing? This is a prophet speaking to me. Ah. How about the dream you had of the next level? This is what we are discussing. I went for something else. I'm hearing something else. That's the character of a true man of God. Some of you now have carried the problem. My rent, told oh God. And God is saying, not rent. I'm going to give you an anointing to start up a business. You came, how much is rent? 250. I know it's a mountain to you. But don't joke with God. Once you are in that atmosphere, expect him to do more. Expect him to do more. Hallelujah. There is one requirement from you tonight. That requirement is to accept that you need help that's the last thing i would require from you if you can accept before god and say lord i've tried everything i know to do i know 
that this thing is not as hard as it is but i submit myself to your wisdom you have changed the lives of people within 24 hours you have brought restoration and healing and hope for people brothers and sisters that sickness can leave that it has stayed 20 years does not mean that's how to stay you can choose to hear this word from god and argue it and just say well nice preaching your problem only affects you i hope you know but you can tremble at his word and say this is the key one prayer that god will never reject is the cry of mercy from a man who needs his help when a man comes to the end of his life i have come to the end of myself i have come to the end of myself i have come to the end of myself when you come to that point and you say lord you spoke to me that i'm going to be a kingdom financier i'm short of ideas i've come to the end of my life lord i need direction I don't know whether it's job now or marriage i don't know whether it's zaria now or 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 i'm going to london or i'm going to calabar or i'm staying in 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 in, in kogi state i need direction you will never never receive direction and help from god by default jesus christ saw blind Bartimaeus. he passed him as if he didn't see him blind Bartimaeus said thou son of david I'm sure people say, keep, keep, keep quiet. The guy cried the more. He said, wicked people, you have eyes. I'm, I'm, I'm blind. Tonight, you may be going through all kinds of things. Brothers and sisters, the power of God is available. You have taken the first right step to come to the atmosphere. The second step is surrender. You must receive his help because you can reject it. You can reject the help of God. Before we begin to pray, Papa Adeboye shared a story and talked about a man who was on a wheelchair. And that man was on a wheelchair. And people kept giving the man money. He became rich because every time people would give him money. And then one time during a program, Papa Adeboye looked at him and he was moved with compassion by the Holy Spirit. And he was going to pray for him. And he, he was led to ask him, do you want to be well? The man said, no. He looked at him, ah, be well? Why should I stand up when my life has changed on this chain? And truly the man told him, all I want is money. I don't want to be well. I think eventually the guy got healed and he was angry. That's according to Papa Deboe. He said the guy was angry because he said, now I will have to work for myself. No excuse again. Take over, take over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over. I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over, I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over, I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Say, Lord, I need help. Mention the areas you need His help. If you don't need any help, pray for Koinonia. Pray for the ministry. Lord, I need help. Pray. I need help in my marriage. Pray. I need help in my finances. I need help in my academics. I 
I need help on my job. Are you praying? Thou son of David, I cry for your mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second prayer point. Lord, I know it is within your power to help me. I ask for your help. Let your power address my case tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I know. Oh, it is within your power to give me a husband. It is within your power to give me a wife. It is within your power to cause my business to flourish. It is within your power to bring restoration. It is within your power to give me a child. It is within your power to cure HIV. It is within your power to deliver me. Oh, pray. It will put a new song in your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. We are going to cry for grace. I just showed you your contribution to your failure. You must take responsibility and say, Lord, I take responsibility and I receive grace to make the adjustments. There's nothing embarrassing about it. From all that I've said, you know the area that affects you. Say, Lord, I take responsibility. The part you cannot do for yourself, you will do. But the part that is your responsibility, you must take responsibility. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, we take responsibility in the name of Jesus. We receive fresh determination, fresh persistence, fresh determination, fresh persistence. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we receive the grace to pursue wisdom, to seek wisdom like a jewel. We receive grace to pursue understanding. We receive grace. By the truths that we know we receive grace to be convicted hallelujah hallelujah shortly we are going to begin ministering we'll be very fast today I want to see how we can close on time so we're going straight to the point hallelujah we'll try to do everything very very fast and see how we can beat time as much as possible hallelujah you're going to prophesy what you want to happen to you by yourself are you ready now please i want you to speak it these are instructions from god 
I know you have been praying in your secret place. It's not the same thing you are doing now. Open your mouth and prophesy everything God will do for you. Lift your voice and pray. I walk out of here healed tonight. Come on now. SS, you must leave me tonight. AS, you must leave me tonight. Shekatatata. Confusion must end in my life tonight. That idea that I need for my business, that idea that I need for promotion, that restoration, I refuse to walk out of this place without that restoration, that mantle that renewed spiritual life that clarity that prophetic word apara koto pasikete mela de bos raga pakata pras kaparata balada ba segede bere de bos oh yes 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 pray pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray that every spirit from darkness that has held your life, pray that you must be delivered this night. Every spirit tying your family, every spirit tying your progress, pray. Enough is enough. He must live my life. Lord, I must be delivered today. Hallelujah. 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 In recent time, I have seen tremendous increase of the anointing of the spirit upon my life especially in the area of healing and deliverance i have seen this all my life but i have seen a multiplication of this grace brothers and sisters whatever your challenge is believe me there is an enough anointing to wipe your tears if only you will believe don't be part of those who have come to waste their time. There are people standing outside just staring at others. Forget about them and be focused. You know what you are going through. Miracle service is not, it's not a marriage ceremony. It's not an album dedication. You don't come and just watch and smile. You come with anger in your heart and say, Lord, I, I won't go back that way. Who told you SS cannot be healed? Who told you AS cannot change? Who told you the, the biological problem cannot go? Who told you you cannot get breakthrough? Lord Jesus, we thank you. We release this atmosphere to you and your power. Lord, I know that you will do amazing things even in this place. We trust you for a quick walk. There are lives, there are destinies that need to be changed. Lord, there are people under all kinds of the influence of strange spirits that have tied their lives let not one of them escape the power of the holy spirit there are sick bodies that need to be healed oh god let not one of them escape the healing power of god there are families that have come with burdens lord i pray your people have come with prayer requests impossible situations but they believe in you so lord we give you praise hallelujah hallelujah now while the ministration continues please if you have not written your prayer requests make sure that you write them it's important it's not a religious formality it's a revelation that god gave us hallelujah during the dinner those of us who are workers will have the opportunity probably to 
experience the testimonies that have come as a result of answered prayers. So in one minute, just write your prayer request very quickly so that when we start, please, if you are yet to write, let's just give them an opportunity. Please help one another with um, papers. You can feel free to put on your phone, contact your loved ones and tell them to send in their prayer request if it's possible. There are many who have sent their own hundreds online. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please make sure you write everything. Write everything you are trusting God to do in your life. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a very simple song. Lift your voice and sing it to your maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Aleluya. 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 Come, my dear. Yes. Yes, you come. I look at this lady and I see a spirit, a very serious spirit. Hold my hands. The Lord will deliver you huh? from that spirit. Because this is something that wants to destroy your life. Is your sister here? Where's her sister? Is her sister here? Is she here? I need to pray for both of you because I'm seeing an attack coming to your family. There is a spirit that I saw, and this is something that has to do with somebody dying. Hallelujah. Who is here? Where is she? Please, let's save time um, very quickly so that we can. We have to pray. I'm seeing death in your family. This is somebody's obituary God wants to avert. You can help her hold her baby if she won't cry. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. For you specifically, there is a spirit that torments you. I need to pray for you. Leading you into things that you do not want to. Hearing a name Femi, not, not Pastor Femi, Femi. I'm hearing a name Femi. Femi, who is Femi? Please, if, if I call your case, please just save our time and come quickly. Femi. Your name is Femi? Who is a visitor? You are the one from where? Come. From where? Jigawa. Eh? Jigawa. From Jigawa State. Yes. You sir. came from Jigawa State. Yes, sir. The Lord is going to set you on fire. He will yes, take sir. you back there. You didn't just come yes, sir. just for a meeting. I know you just yes, thought sir. you came to receive. I'll call you several times. Sir. Eh? I'll call your number several times. You not be picking. You will receive. That which you desire. Praise the Lord. Yes. My brother, I'm going to pray for you. Victoria. Victoria. I hear a name Victoria. This is Victoria. Let me just respond to you. Victoria. Victoria. There is a Victoria trusting God for a change of genotype. Genotype. You're trusting God for a change of genotype. I don't know if it has to do with um, S S A S. Anyone like that? This is a Victoria. I see. I want to minister to a Victoria that is trusting God for a change of genotype. We have to frustrate come we have to frustrate the power stopping your marriage look at me we have to frustrate the power that is stopping your marriage huh because it's God's desire for you to settle down soonest you understand this is this is the devil is not going to lord it over you we are going to pray please I want you to believe I don't have to call your case I'm just flowing because the Holy Spirit is impressing it strongly upon me and then we'll just get into prayer Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, visit this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your mother? Who is sick? Who is sick in your family? My mom. Because I'm seeing that, ah, we have to pray. I have, we have to pray. Hmm? This is December. Your mother will just sleep and they will tell you, I'm not a prophet of doom. They will tell you that she's dead. She has been talking about death. We have to rebuke this thing. She has been seeing dead people 
in her dream she sleeps and she sees dead people and they'll be stretching their hands towards her and asking her to hold them some of them are people who have died before see there are families here with those things but we are going to deal with it praise the lord father in the name of jesus christ i pray for this family that spirit of death over the family in the name of jesus we roll it away we roll it away by the power of the holy spirit and for you i curse this spirit that is in you in the name of jesus when the time for deliverance comes the lord is going to set you free completely in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for you your hands are blessed listen your hands are blessed god expects you to use your hands to bring wealth to yourself your hands are blessed the lord is saying i should tell you that these hands are blessed hands are you getting what i'm saying you have to pray and trust god for ideas the things that you can do with your hands and he will bless you in the name of the lord jesus christ new level come there is still a time for impartation so you receive it but two things god is giving you number one god is giving you wisdom number two god is giving you stability huh i see you but i see like a wind you are here and there god needs to give you stability father you will give him stability in the name of jesus come my dear i pray for you you won't marry a foolish man say amen i curse every spirit delaying her marriage now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke that spirit come um, I have to pray for you hold my hands lord she must be free today today is her day of liberty in the name of jesus christ i rebuke this spirit you must leave her i see you in the spirit out of her right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ my dear do you love jesus very well Huh? Please, he wants you to take him very seriously. Okay? Where are you from, my dear? Benway State. Benway State. Is, who is here with you? My brother. Your brother. Where is he? Brother, please, can you come? I want to speak to him just before we start the ministry. What's his name? Joseph. Huh? Joseph Okotu. Joseph, where are you? I hear the Lord saying he's bringing restoration to your family. That's why I want to pray for you. We are going to pray. The Lord is saying I should tell you he will give you beauty for ashes. Huh? You may not understand the meaning of what I'm saying. But as the days unfold you will see God honor you. Father let there be restoration for this family. You are going to be a great man of God. Great man of God. God is going to put a teaching anointing upon you. Supernatural grace for teaching. Supernatural grace for teaching. Father, step into this family and do miracles in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice in one minute. Let's begin to pray in tongues. Shiva Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Shabra Thank you, Father. Because the oppressed will be delivered by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I want to begin to minister. Deliverance is very important. Very, very important. It's the platform that separates you from the spirits and the influences. You see, sometimes some of you do not even know that your lives are under um, certain levels of 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 bondage but then you will need the grace of god you will need the wisdom of god you will need his grace to give you direction and i'm going to pray for you right now my goodness the power of god is strong in this place so many people inside and outside it will surprise some of you because you do not even know now listen this deliverance is not just for individuals in fact god is going to start with families that's what i see god doing hallelujah praise the lord you've heard this happen again and again i don't know why god does this but a lady is going to shout under the anointing 
and this is what will introduce that grace a loud shout by the spirit of the living god lift your hands father thank you for your power and your presence in this place right now in the name of jesus at the count of three i want everyone to shout jesus from the depth of your heart i challenge every spirit i challenge every voice and every altar oh god that has kept your people bound that has kept families bound there's no place for escape for you tonight lord i pray that in a mighty way as your people begin to shout you visit them my goodness the power of god is already coming on people at the count of three one two get ready now get ready three fire upon you right now deliverance fire in the name of jesus receive it receive it help them please help those people right now in the name of jesus inside and outside i release the power of the holy spirit the power of the holy spirit right now right now right now right now right now i see the power of god along this region right here where the ministers are staying i see the power of god right now i cast that spirit i challenge every power every fraternity from hell that keeps people bound in the name of jesus hallelujah lift your hands those outside alone those inside you can relax those outside at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there are people who are tied to covenants i hear covenants in the spirit people tied to covenants as you shout that name it's like a wind that will blow outside and the power of god will begin to set people free are you ready now at the count of three one two three in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ we release deliverance outside we release mighty deliverance now lift your hands you don't have to shout just keep it lifted hallelujah i'm going to begin to speak and prophesy and for all those who are affected the power of god will begin to touch them bring them out here in the name of jesus lift your hands now i pray every family here under any spell every family lord where Hey, right now let the power of god touch them touch them now 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 right now in the congregation every family under any kind of spell i bring deliverance right now i bring deliverance right now in the mighty name of jesus i bring deliverance help that lady i bring deliverance right now right now keep your hands lifted right now father identify families that have suffered every cause right now in the name of jesus all over the congregation inside and outside hallelujah keep your hands lifted no instruments just keep your hands lifted i'm going to pray i see fire rolling in the realm of the spirit now that fire listen that fire is going to come upon individuals i'm hearing stagnation that's what i'm hearing please keep your hands lifted inside and outside lord wherever those people are get set right now as i speak the fire will burst and begin to touch people stagnation wherever they are shake it, it, it up. begin to touch them right now by that fire receive it right now right now right now right now right now all over the building in the name of jesus christ that spirit of stagnation that has been responsible i see some people being touched outside i see people being touched outside
Hallelujah. This row, lift your hands. Just this row. Lift your hands. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands towards you. The moment I stretch my hands, the power of God will move in dramatic ways. And I'm hearing in my spirit breakthrough. That's what is coming. Please make sure you believe. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. It will be a mighty move of the spirit. Lord, I do as you have instructed. And at the count of three, let there be breakthroughs. One, two, three. Help them, please. Help them, please. We command it in the name of Jesus. Bring them out. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every force that has tied down my life, you must leave me right now. Pray. As some of you are praying, the power of God will be touching you. Every spirit that is responsible. Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, only the ladies. I want to pray for you. Only the ladies. A woman represents a gate in the spirit. And there are many ladies whose gates are tied and closed. But the Bible says to open up the two leaf gates. It will surprise you what will happen to many of you right now. Please keep your hands lifted. Father, I pray in a mighty way, let every lady's destiny that has been closed at the count of three, as they shout Jesus, let those gates be open. Get set now, ladies. One, two, three. Open now. Open now. Open now. My goodness, I see padlocks opening. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. Open up those gates in the name of Jesus. Open up those gates. Open up those gates now. Open up those gates now. Open up those gates now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Lift your voice and violently pray in one minute. And command that spirit to leave you. Go ahead and pray please. By the power of the Holy Spirit. You must leave my family. Just keep praying. It's a new season by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Every unclean spirit attaching itself to our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Who came with this woman? I'm seeing a spirit tying this woman watch this who came with mama out of her hold my hands mama listen she can't walk hold on mommy this woman cannot walk well you see this who don't worry Mom. stroke look at this how many of you believe god can do a miracle for this woman i command the spirit right now that spirit leave this woman right now in the name of jesus she doesn't hear very well too in the name of jesus i command the ears to be open mommy look at me lift your leg just carry it lift your leg carry it come come walk come 
Come. Look at this. Walk by yourself. Come. Come. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Listen. She doesn't hear very well. Mama. Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Come, Mama. Look at this. You know that this is a spirit that has tied this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, we end captivity. Stretch your hands and pray that the Lord will perfect everything that concerns her. This is somebody's mother. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Mama, this mama, come. Your time of breakthrough has come. Hold on. Look at what's wrong with you? My leg cannot open. Your leg cannot this open. Leg, uh, this leg. Uh, How long? 20 years. 20. How many years? Uh, it's getting Who knows her? Years. You know you are their son. Come now. You come and stand close to your mother. How many years? More than 20 years. Where are you from? We are from Sabongari. Mama, you believe Jesus will touch yes, you? Yes, sir. I tell you, there is nothing Jesus cannot do. Yes, there is sir. the anointing. You believe it? Yes, sir. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Heal me. Heal me. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Heal me. Heal me. Father, you died for this reason right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be healing right now. Look at what is happening to her. In the name of Jesus. Mama, hold my hands. Walk. Come. 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 Try to climb. Now, lift your leg. Try to lift it. It didn't used to open before. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, go ahead. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift it and do what you could not do. Just do it. Do it. Open the other one. In the name of Jesus. God is already giving you a miracle. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Can you see a miracle happening? She could not open the leg. Completely could not open it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at look at this. God is giving this woman a eh? Before. She said she, she could not stand for five minutes. I cannot stand for five minutes. But right now God is touching you. Your back will be paining you. In the name of Jesus Christ, this perfection has started. That backache, I lay my hands and I release the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, just keep under the anointing. She will stand up and check herself. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another mother. I don't know why God is visiting our mothers right now. I'm seeing, Mama, please come. Can I talk to you, Ma? Somebody help that woman. Please, don't, if we talk to you, speak whatever language you can speak. There will always be somebody to interpret it. It doesn't have to be that you must speak English. Who's, whose mother is this? Eh? Well done, mommy. What's, what's the issue? What brought her here? She has been complaining of different illness. Mama, what's wrong with you? I got BP. I got BP. This something day my blood they move like this. As friend. I'm looking at our mother, Mama. As I look at you, I'm seeing something like a snake all around your stomach. That thing starts moving. Is that? And then it comes towards your chest area. Yes, then that. sometimes you feel pain at your back here. Yes, sir. That yes. devil will leave you right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. You believe in Jesus? I'm going to pray that God will use this lady. Because I looked at her and I just saw a dove rise from her. You. What's your name? Faith. Faith? Yes, sir. You will be a woman of faith. You believe that? Let me pray for you. Father, anoint this lady. Let your power come upon her in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will use you mightily. Mama, let's pray for you. Lay your hands on your chest, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, God is healing you right now. High blood pressure, high blood pressure and every other sickness. I rebuke it right now. And I command the spirit that oppresses you to leave. In the 
the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now listen if you know you are involved in anything whether maybe you have a shop you are in business and nothing is working just lift your hands I want to pray for those people right now that's what the Holy Spirit is telling me please believe Why is she out? Come, you're a mother. We can't keep you standing there. Let me just attend to her. Please, you don't have to come out. We'll attend to you. Whose mother is this? My son is outside. Your son? Okay, what's, what can Paul, we do for you? Paul. I'm weak from here downwards. You are weak from? Um, my waist downwards. Downwards. What? You can walk. It's just that the pain is there. The pain, I used to feel pain. I can't see it for long. Yes, I lie down. I can't stand for long. Okay, Mama, just clear the way. Let Mama, you are her son. You are welcome. Let her just sit down there. We will soon pray for the sick. When it's time, you just bring her there so that you can hurry up. Praise the Lord. Uh, please, you don't have to come out. We are going to, listen, listen. We are going to pray. We will invite people to come out now. Well, I'm going to pray for the sick. I will lay hands on all of you. Praise the Lord. So that we can just hurry up. If we do it one by one like this, we may not have all the time. Um, but why, why is she coming away? Uh, my problem is one year. I'm eating in the dream. You are eating in the dream? Yes. Food, you mean? One year now. For one year, non stop? Last month, on um, today's 15 days, my stomach, my back, in the pain. I don't be sleep. I don't be eat. Uh, last week, uh, Friday, I enter hospital. They give me medicine. I don't take all the medicine. Never ask for one. We pray. Jesus Christ will set you free. In the name of Jesus. Mama, you two, just go and sit down there. Please, no, our mothers, don't worry. When we start praying for the sick, this is what we'll do. We may give room so that we we'll start with some of our elderly ones so that they can go back. They may not have that strength. Will that be fine? So as you line up, if you see any elderly man or woman, you can just push them forward so that we minister to them and then they can go and sit down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But lift your hands now. I want to release breakthrough. I mean, I, I mentioned the case right now. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him I will sing to him a new song I will praise him I will sing to him a new song and I will praise him I will sing to him a new song I will praise him I will sing to him a new song And I will praise him I will sing to him a new song Every force Kabbalah Tabarah Keep your hands lifted That has tied down your business All the works of your hands Some of you will feel fire on your hand Literal fire It will start burning on your hands right now in the name that is above all names i pray as that fire comes on your hand ideas begin to come to you receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus it's already happening to people right now it's happening to people the fire is coming on people help this brother please the fire is coming on people right now your hands ideas ideas this fire represents ideas. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, as we pray for the sick, I know there are many people here who are sick. Please be orderly as you come. While that is happening, every prayer request, please pass it over to the ushers. You have your prayer request. You can use the time to call some of your loved ones. 
by the way when we begin to prophesy for some of you who have your loved ones at home you can put on the phone and connect with them honestly if they have the faith to receive and they believe they'll be surprised at what happens to them you are trusting god for a healing miracle make your way to the front now and begin to pray there is a god that heals here yeah. yes mama please don't cry can you get a handkerchief please Help our mother with this handkerchief. Please make your way to the front. It's called a miracle service. Look how many people are trusting God for healing. Forward all the elderly ones to the front. Please, all our elderly ones. I looked around and I realized That you've been so good to me standing here can we begin to talk to the Lord and say father please who am I that you are mindful of me who am I that you hear my cry when I call you how can I love you more know you more Source of my strength, now you, the strength of my life, my hope and my joy, my confidence, now you, the other source of my life, the strength of my life, my hope and my joy, my confidence. show you look at this oh my god put a camera here look at this can you see this person bring the person here look at this this is death already look at this i think you can can they see it on camera look at this you know that this is this is this is already this is an obituary who is her mother this is her mother crying who is her mother? Why did the mother stay outside now and bring the... Oh, she went to bring Matt. They brought the girl on a... What's wrong with her? She has been sick for over six months now, but they have been not... They have not able to be... No diagnosis. You will look at her and think it's HIV. Brothers and sisters, hear me. When a spirit enters a man, it leaves out his character through that person. Okay, let's let's hear from the mother, please. What language can she speak? Kurama. Who is Kurama here? Huh? You are, please. Don't can she speak Hausa? Mama Ki Hausa? Rabuda Suki Hausa? We will never put pressure on anybody. If she can't speak Hausa, she'll speak her language. Um, what is wrong with her? What's the issue with the baby? Uh -huh. One of the two um, cancer. Cancer? Uh -huh. Eight. Eight? Uh -huh. Cancer, the eight took her. And, uh, Basr. The me? Basr. What's that? Uh -huh. Pile, cancer, HIV. Uh -huh. Look at this. Kudauku. Uh -huh. Kudauku. Uh -huh. Tell her she brought... She brought her expecting. No, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. 
Tell her she came expecting Jesus to touch her. Jesus okay. came up. Can I also? So say, can I not? Kasina. Can I not? Kasina, she never came here. But is that not your language? Mama, we are going to pray for her now. Go. We are going to pray for her. Just clear the way. Can she hear? Can I How old is she? Help her. She, she. You would think this girl is, is 10 years. She's 30 years. 30 solid years. Supposed to be married, right? With her children. She's married with two children. Oh my God. Huh? Mama? Okay. This is cancer, HIV at a terminal state. The source of my strength, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy, hey, my confidence. Source of my life, strength of my life. My hope and my joy, hey, my confidence. Hallelujah. My dear, my dear, can you speak English? Can you speak English? No, don't worry. Can you hear me? You can hear me. You believe Jesus can touch you? Do you believe that? Don't cry. Don't cry. Jesus is able to touch you. Father, show this lady mercy. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil by the blood of Jesus Christ. I command that spirit of infirmity, that devil of HIV, that devil of cancer. I command him to leave her in the name of Jesus Christ. I will ask you people to help her get up eventually. My dear, look at me. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release strength to you. Strength to you strength to you. Try to move your hands or your leg. Go ahead. Try to move your hand or your leg if you can. Do you have enough strength for that? Can she hear me? She's so weak. She can't even hear me. It's well. Just leave her to lie down with the glory as I pray for other people. I mean, she's so weak. She cannot even hear me. God, the devil is wicked. Listen, I assure you that whatever it is, what's that? Okay, the request. Don't worry, we'll pray for you. Hallelujah. Just leave her to soak in the glory here while she gets some strength and we'll try to lift her up and see what happens. Father, I pray for everyone here. Let the power of God touch them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone came. Please be patient. You don't have to rush. The Lord himself will touch you. You came for a reason. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to tell me what is wrong with you. If I ask you, you can tell me, but it doesn't matter. The spirit of death is on this woman. But Mama, look at me. Come, please. What's wrong with her? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Yes. What's wrong with you, madam? Now, since uh, where would they for Abuja? Now, in the bubble, where the bomb will blow. So what? I'm I'm selling something for Nyanya. Uh, I'm selling food here. Yeah. Where bomb will blow for that side? Bomb. Uh, oh, uh, bomb blast. Yes, I now fall down. I no, I cannot get out. They carry me to go hospital. Oh, the bomb, bomb blast was. that happened in Nyanya. Yes. So it affected you. Eh. Uh, so I can't get out. They carry me go hospital. So, uh, I spent four months go no go. They carry me go flying place. He collected uh, fifty thousand. They, call, they carried you go where? Uh, Flan, man. May go treat me. Say, hospital, no feed you up. A doctor? Oh, how about this? Eh. Okay. Flan, man. It's okay. The Flan, man collected 50,000. You know, I've said it again. Please hear me. Listen, let me, let me press it down. Any man, I don't care who, who tells you to bring money to get a miracle, even if it's me, run away. Are you hearing what I'm saying? 
mama our mothers i'm begging you in the name of jesus christ any man any priest any prophet any pastor any apostle any human being herbalist whoever that asks you to give him money so that you give him miracle tell him joshua selman said he's a thief he's not a man of god are we together and now we start the cure the thing the if you give me medicine i drink i will bring bad bad dream in the night so tell her that four months you go and no go the man now time to bring thirty thousand again. I say I am not even see food. That should bring thirty thousand again. Uh, I not see food to talk to my children again now. And now start the bed. The man no agree. That mommy am I going for? Some my room before. Mommy, what what? Now I come some. I come some my room here. Come and say, come and I walk up for prayer to prayer. But I the hear prayer for you. When they say me I come me go. I know they and I know they come. I will just lie down. They feel pain every. Do you know? that there are spirits that stop men from going to the place of their breakthrough have you seen people that you try to bring for koinonia on your way going they just change their mind it's not them there is a spirit i tell you that you make your way here alone is a sign that god is ready to visit you okay what 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 exactly so machine just come. You say where the grass and at this church he says, Oh make a go, make go in offer. Welcome the Osha people. Say where they go, they go to my chance. I know people. These people can serve God, then then carry me from machine down. They hold my hand. God bless our feet. ushers. I sit down. When I sit down, finish, they come they address me, say make I no hurry to enter. So and now where they start they play, I entered through gate. That I just stand up with my now this hand they just stand on this side, you know. And now something stand up. Uh, stand. God come give me a condom. Strength. My power. What what power. part of your body is not working very well? Yes. Now? What part? Yeah, I go so. Oh your leg. Oh I see. Father. It's, it's okay, madam. Ma mama. Uh, we, we get what is wrong with you now, eh? In Jesus' name we pray for you. If she couldn't walk, oh. There is a spirit at work in you. That spirit will leave you now. I command that devil, leave her. You think it's bomb blast. But, oh, she could not walk, oh. They had to carry her and now she's even standing. That's even a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, look at me. Hold my hands. I minister strength to you. Look at me. Come. Come. Help her. In the name of Jesus. Walk. I will hold you. Walk. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Start walking by yourself. Come. Came on a bike. Could not walk. Come. Slowly. Just take it slowly. Look at this. You can see that it's happening gradually. Gradually. These hands were paralyzed. Madam, look at me. Try to lift it up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lift it. Lift it. Lift it. Look at this. Lift it. Lift it. Drop it down. Lift it again. Lift it again. Completely paralyzed. Completely paralyzed. Look at. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. A miracle is happening. Do what you couldn't do. The devil is a liar. The more you take that step of faith, the more you see God stepping in. Father, this miracle is perfected in her body in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Just keep exercising her. We'll have to pray. Please, any special case, we'll minister it. Our time is gone. I saw the spirit of death. She was supposed to die in that bomb blast. I didn't even know it was Nyanya bomb blast. That Boko Haram bomb blast. May you never be a victim of any man's wickedness. In the name of Jesus Christ. The moment I pray for you, please, as you return back, check yourself and do what you couldn't do before if it's a striking striking testimony we'll just take it here worship team lead us through sessions of worship as we pray in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus
can't say it. I can't say anything. You've been going to where, sir? Shika. What it is is wrong with you, sir. But what do you feel? That's what I'm asking. That is a shot of blood. Shot of blood. I look at you, sir, and your face has changed to the face of a cat. This is what licks your blood. This is what I'm seeing. This is demonic. You understand what I'm saying? There was a time you had a dream and a dog was following you. Dog. Dog was pursuing you. And I need to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit, that devil of darkness to leave. Please stand in and connect for your loved ones. We have so many people. Let's see how far we can. So you brought him for a miracle. You believe Jesus? Eh? His neck is not standing. What does that mean? He can't lift his neck. Put the baby with the baby on my hand. Careful, careful. Just. I know we are taking time, but stretch your hands at this baby, and let's close this hole in the name of Jesus. You will have a child. Make sure you are praying. One month, two weeks, a hole in his heart. If God does not step in, this baby will either die or something will happen. I tell you, we are the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. We can agree. Father, we reject this. We reject this. As you are rejecting it for this child, so it will be in your life. Reject it. Lord, your church is praying. We change this report. Baby, we speak to you. Baby, you will not die. You will not die. You will not die. We close this hole. Hallelujah. Go and check him. Don't cry. Don't cry. Eh? You are not going to lose your baby. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are going to pray. It's going to be very, very fast. As I lay my hands on you, just, it's just a touch. There is a reason why I'm doing this myself and I lay hands on you. Just a touch. The Lord is wiping your tears. The Lord is wiping your tears. And not just because you are crying physically. This woman is coming with so much pains. The Lord is wiping your tears. Now, in the name of Jesus, 
out of her that demon that causes pain in the name of Jesus Christ
Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise, I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin.